Willow, a warm wind blows across your face. Dust clawing away at your exposed eyes. This world in front of you has already been burnt dry by the sun. Before the ever arrived, the environment seemed to turn on its residents. This place was damned from the very start. The fact that they were able to muster even the smallest amount of resistance to the Coda and its threat is, frankly, unreasonable. Too much to ask for the people of this world. All that remains on all side of uh, on all sides of you are long wastelands. Little bits of technology remain scattered around, overworn, rusted. Honestly, something like, well. It's almost like something out of a fighting game. Scattered motorcycles, half buried in the dust. It's a fascinating place, but there's very little life remaining here. Up ahead, you see a figure sort of bowing on the horizon, moving through. Through all the desiccated areas ahead, you can feel it pretty clearly. This is a vision being shown to you by your reflection. This is a place that once was, and this is the place that the legend that you hold in your palm starts. You see a figure digging through the ash, head heavy, appraising scattered and burned bodies. And then your eyes hazily drift open. An unfamiliar ceiling. You look up, and you see those ugh, lights bearing down on you. Almost instantly, the headache sets in. Uh, why they gotta make hospital lights so bright? <laughs> <laughs> you sit up in bed, and then uh, give me a roll to die immediately, Willow. <laughs> oh no. Holy shit, high roll, okay. Now, do me a favor, lock in one of those dice. Doesn't matter with how you balanced your stats, that will boost it to a 15. In this case, functionally, I would have done 10 or less is a fail, a 10 plus is a pass, and then a 15 plus is a high pass. So in this case, I stopped the chill music immediately. <laughs> you, uh, Willow, you can immediately feel that there is something on the far side, dead silent, trying to come in through your door. It seems like they're struggling a lot with the card reader. You hear a light eh -eh, on the far side of the door, which should be almost impossible with how damn thick the thing is. There's a repeated error. Uh, you can tell someone is trying to access your room, and for some reason they don't have authorization to do so. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna slide off bed a little bit. <laughs> you straighten yourself up. Ugh, head's still spinning. Still feels like you're out in that desert. Ugh. Like, you shake yourself off expecting to produce, like, a fine layer of sand, but you look down and, no, nope, still the dream sticking with you a little bit. I got dream sand everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. How do, how do I open this dang thing? You start to futz around with the door on your side. Give me another roll to... Give me a roll to do in this case. Ooh. You feel like as you mess around with the door on your side, uh, the figure on the other side has stopped and is almost hearing the movement, is waiting for you to do something. They're... They're acutely aware of it. They are now holding perfectly still. Uh, you sense an air of them feeling like they've been discovered. All right, don't don't move. <laughs> don't you run? <laughs> Give me another roll to do. You <laughs> you speak these words out and let me roll something for them quietly on the other side. You speak those words out, and you just hear a clatter, and then someone fucking books it. They sprint as fast as they physically can, and at that point, an AI flares to life behind you. 
Ah, you're awake. Um, is there something that I can assist with? There, were, there was someone trying to get in my room. What? Uh, he stops. I'll review the... Hmm, I'll review the footage. Uh, he moves back over. Your appointment should be... Not for another 15 minutes. Um, hmm. He's going to examine. Look through the hospital. And let's lock in. Yeah. You get a roll to do. With this on top. Serve quickly cross-references various files from around the hospital. And strange. The security camera from outside of your room suddenly went dark. Hmm. Uh. This is probably very remiss of me to ask, but is there anyone who might be after your life? <laughs> he says with a slight smile. <laughs> hmm. Af after my life? Yes, I've been told I happen to jump to conclusions pretty frequently, but if they're erasing security cameras, they probably are interested in one of two things. They want to speak to you privately, or they want to dispose of you privately. I couldn't think of anyone who wanted to kill me. Ah, I see. Perish the thought, then. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles and takes a quiet note. And I'm just like, well, shall I alert? <clears throat> shall I alert the doctor of the day, Dr. Argos, as well as visiting consultant Arendite, that you have awoken and you're ready to see them? Oh, yes, yes. Delightful. <laughs> For now, I'm going to keep that door locked and I'm going to make sure no one comes inside. <laughs> All right, I'll guess I'll sit here. It's a. A little empty of the hospital room. Mm. How are you adapting to it? Is it... Is there anything else that we can potentially provide? This uh, section of the hospital is rather... barren. I I'd like some water. It feels like I'm in a desert in here. Ah, I see. Of course. Well, hmm. He, uh, he seems to consider something. And then clicks off, and then about a minute or two later, the door actually slides open, and someone walks in through the front of it. A glass of water, then. Well, he moves here. into the room and places it down on the table. Huh? <laughs> I, I grab his face. <laughs> you grab his face like, mm, mm. <laughs> ah, yes, I, mm, you're having a reaction to seeing my the physical body I've been provided with. Understandable. It is quite impressive. <laughs> okay, I thought I was still under the effects of... No, I'm... Uh, it's okay. <laughs> he, uh, he sort of grins at you. I was provided with a physical body first so that I can assist with various tasks around the hospital. This is the least of my worries. And, um, the very least I could do for our wonderful flow operatives. I mostly and primarily assist in surgeries. He holds up his hands, and you feel that same sense of menace extend from him. I have very steady hands, you see. Uh, did you do any surgery on me? No, of course not. I believe that is what Dr. Argos will be consulting with you about. Oh, okay. He's just gonna shoot the shoot the pain away. That's it. <laughs> ah, I have a strange request. Sure, ask your request. Would you mind if I stood in the corner of your room and stared off into the morning sunlight? Uh, only if there's a window. Oh, yes, of course. He moves over to the window and <laughs> pulls it open, and suddenly a, a wash of sunlight moves through the room. I've always wanted to do this, but I've been too busy to do so on my own. Oh, God, the sun's even brighter. <laughs> Beaming smile. Ah, yes it is. He's <laughs> staring into it, gleaming slightly. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the entry hall... Let me... Move down here. Erase you. Okay, and stream is on. All right, everybody, it is time. Let's do some healing. <laughs> Mike waves to chat and then is like, okay, um, oh, right, um, 
I think, um, I think Sophie wanted to talk to you about something too, Argos. Oh, okay. Is she around? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want me to call her? If you would, please. Uh, she, um, Mike, like, leans into the camera and is like, Sorry, chat, something personal's kind of come up. I hope you're okay with tagging along. And then you hear a loud discord and ur, 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 as someone moves into the hospital. As you see Aura with a giant mechanical claw on his back enter uh, enter the area. Yo, Argos! Aura, that's a quite a uh, Dr. Squid look you've got going on. <laughs> Thank you. I, what? <laughs> <laughs> he squints. No, I wanted. A, I I had to get a mechanical claw so I I can theoretically lift my reflection. Riddle says this is my birthday present, but early. Wow. Yo, Does stream on. Yeah. Say hi. Everyone. Hey, stream. Hi, you want to see? You want to see how much shit I can lift with this claw? Come on. Come on. Let's go. He, he, he like grabs your shoulder and starts to lead you away. And Mike's like, "Sorry, Aura. We've kind of already got plans." Um, we're gonna be doing surgery today, so please oh, not that's with right. the law. We've gotta I, save some lives today. I cannot. We I can, can watch you destroy it. things later. <laughs> destroy lives, hell yeah. <laughs> also, I are specifically you... did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying I can't do surgery with this cloud? Come on, look at how accurate it is. It swings through the room. This guy dives out of the way. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> Uh, also, um, if you see Sophie, please send her over in this direction. Oh, yeah, uh, shit, uh, Sophie, yeah, right, uh, right, cool, yeah, uh, you guys, you have a, you have a great day. He waves with him in his claw hand and, like, shifts away. Wow. Huh. I, having one of those could be kind of useful. Yeah, probably. Did he seem weird when I brought up Sophie? I was a little distracted, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah, the claw hand does present some unique opportunities. <laughs> it does. You see, you know, we're like a we're we're a pair. And yeah. like you if I had arms like that, you could contr control them. Oh. I'm just spitballing here. <laughs> she beams at you. <laughs> I <laughs> I think that might make me, as they say, too powerful. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so cool. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna but... I'm gonna look and see if uh, Riddle knows when my birthday is, and if it if she doesn't, I'm gonna say it soon. <laughs> Mike is nodding <laughs> repeatedly. You. Another AI spawns in. Hey Argos. Hey Sophie. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, um, I just had to wrap up some things, uh, apparently there's been an outage in the security cameras over in Riddle's section of the hospital, but I'm sure that's nothing. Um, <clears throat> uh, hmm. regardless, um, I know you're waiting here for Riddle, but, uh, I was hoping to get your advice on something later? Uh, yeah, sure, off stream, right? Y y yeah, I, I think that'd be good. Uh, hi stream, hi chat, she like waves. <laughs> Say uh, hi, everybody. Mike, uh, would you mind if I borrowed him for a bit? Oh, uh, no, um, you want me to trade over to Riddle or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, okay, later then. She waves and boom. boom. And we haven't had a chance to play games together lately. Mm. I kind of miss those days. Yeah, it's busy being, you know, flow operative and now apparently doctor <laughs> well um uh good luck today doctor she like flips up her hood as someone walks down the hallway thanks dr mike <laughs> oh she likes that <laughs> <laughs> she she likes that a lot she sort of beams riddle moves in through the gate and is like I didn't realize how many security checkpoints you can be stopped by uh, if you don't have an affiliate badge. It's five. Oh, five right. of them. <laughs> I guess it's good we tightened security since the whole incident thing. Also, both of you guys are doing a great job. She looks over to the uh, the Esper guards and they're like, oh, thanks. Um, 
well, shall we? All right, let's get this party started. Um, what what are what exactly are we doing today, head surgeon? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, nice promoted. Um, she like beams at well, you. I, I guess we're just kind of <laughs> handing out doctorates here, so. Oh so yeah, why the no, hell uh, not? Uh, hi stream. Uh, we are not. These are all jokes, and uh, I should double underline that. Do not hold us responsible in a court of law, okay? Don't don't narc on me. <laughs> she looks into where she thinks the camera is. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're cool. They would never. They would never. They would they never. Would never. <laughs> you wouldn't, right, chat? She moves over. Okay, so we're going to start off with Willow. And then I want to take a look at Ace, and then I think Melly's still here. She's like, she's walking and carrying bags. Uh, it's clear that she's like come for the day. Um, as you round the way over here, you notice three people just like sort of occupying the middle of the hallway. Yep. So, training. Uh, tra training? Uh, training! Gym day! Gym day. Uh... Come on! It's gym day! <laughs> you guys are gonna teach me how to, how to like, sword and stuff, right? Who's Jim? Oh. Well, Jim is actually short for gymnasium, which is the longer form of the name Jim, I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> I... Wow, he must be really important. Yeah. It's named after, like, the best, the, uh, the guy who was the best at fitness ever, I'm pretty sure. I look forward to meeting Mr. Nasium. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, wow. we're, we're, we're hitting up the gym today. <laughs> like, wow. Looks, wow, that's so, so cool. I, I'd love to come with you, but sorry, I got a doctor duty oh today. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, boy. No, it's, wow, that won't last yeah. all day, though, right? No, it will. It will. Yeah, no. Yeah, being yeah. a hero is a full time job, and yep. doctors are heroes. And uh, I'm but, a doctor now. Yep. Congratulations on your doctorate. Th thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, Ace, you're not getting out of this either. You also have to be doctored at. Ah, uh, that's 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 fine. When when do you need me? Like soon or? Yeah, you know what? She like she like points. Oh. You wanna you wanna come with? I uh, yeah yeah I can come. Ah uh, I. I'm gonna have to miss out on the the gym what? gymnasium, but ba holy shit, man! You're bailing on gym day. Don't worry, I... it won't take long. He can yeah, be right yeah, back yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanna, you know, maybe if I help a little bit, maybe Argos can join us. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, you're not, you're not helping. You're getting, <laughs> you're you're the patient. I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I could be a, a helpful patient. That's the thing you can be. Mm. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Head surgeon, the uh, the patient is causing problems. Am I, I can... uh, clear to sedate? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, danger like looks back and forth. Basil, you're sticking with me though, right? Um, yes, yes. Come on, come on. We're gonna do. We're gonna show these jerks who the best at gym is. We're gonna make yeah. Mr. Nasium so proud. I bet we could beat him up. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll inherit the Nasium dynasty, and then we'll show him. <laughs> we'll show him. He reaches to grab your hand and run off. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, it doesn't work. There they, there they go. Man, they. Uh, that gym's gonna be a mess. <laughs> I yeah, wish... I'm glad it's not the VR room. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish we could have grabbed. Basil off of that, but she seems yeah. to be in good spirits. So. Do you think Basil can eat a dumbbell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, regardless, yeah, let's. We may have another go. patient by the end of the day. No, lead away, doctors. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she Thank you. Don't moves. narc. <laughs> yeah, do do not narc. Guys, Don't tell the cops. <laughs> I mean, you head to a section of the hospital that is specifically labeled ESP, uh, ESP Research and Development, and uh, Riddle walks in like she's uh, right at home. This one now. You 
you move to the head of a rather long hallway as you move through a section of the hospital that sort of like angles downwards. The air becomes significantly cooler. You're around the back side of the structure now. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, this wing. I remember that. Yeah, this is the one that I built. Um, well, oh, right, street. She uh, yeah. she like rushes over and is like, leans into Argos. On the left, you'll find our clock tower. She rushes up ahead and then points down the hallway. So, if you're going to be messing around with forces outside of the world's normal control, you want to build a clock tower, otherwise they'll have no concept of time, and someone big and bad will get you. So, you build a clock tower. And in the middle of that explanation, Whoa! Holy shit, is Boss back? Oh my god, Boss, did you get unfired? Uh, no, 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 I haven't, Promoted I haven't been unfired. Yeah, 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 I'm just here visiting. As the head surgeon today. Oh, oh, that's a real shame. Um, well, uh, good luck, I guess. Um, department's sort of still waiting on you. Uh, th thanks. She sort of like grabs you too and like leads you off a little more yep. aggressively in this direction. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> um, so, oh, this is the break room. Uh, if nice. you ever need coffee here, this is the spot. This is the place single-handedly responsible for saving my life. That's very important to know. Marking it <laughs> on my mini-map. <laughs> she, like, rounds the corner. And the second you get around this way, she's like, So, Opia is technically an academy where we teach different people the methods needed to combat code and infection, different code and diseases, etc., a significant portion of it is dedicated to the research and study of not only the CODA, but different methodologies that have been developed in-house and spreading them sort of to other hospitals to make them equivalently equipped. This floor is a hybrid of an academy and also a research wing. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> we do a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Um... The downside of this being the only place that code and infection is studied is uh, it's the only place you can come for research or perspective or anything like that. Uh, so there are four private rooms on this side of the wing. I think almost all four of them are booked out right now. We'll use this room for your appointment, Ace. She uh, like yeah. slides a, she slides her hollow pad across here and the room actually reads occupied and then she moves up here and is like, Okay, uh, everybody ready to see Willow? Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, uh, are you familiar with Bedside Manor? No. It's basically don't be a jerk to the patient because they feel bad. I, 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 I would never be a jerk. No, I, I'm just saying in particular, be nice to people who are suffering from various maladies and illnesses because they're already, like, down and under the weather, probably. She slides her thing through the, uh, uh, through the card reader, and it lets out a bam bam. Uh, right, uh, uh, doctor? <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll just, uh, take care of that. <laughs> Bad you... read. <laughs> you hit, you hit the, uh, the card reader, and, mm -hmm. indeed, you are allowed through. What? There you go. Service standing, waiting, looking out the window. You all walk into the room. Yep. Willow. Willow has the pillow over her head. Man, oh. <laughs> why are hospital rooms so bright? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I was telling them. Uh, Riddle opens her mouth and you feel her. Okay, yeah. I, no. yeah it's good. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> she like <laughs> Riddle moves over and like starts to open her bag on the counter here and she's like, Good morning, Firebug. How's it going? You you holding in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm doing okay. It's it still feels deadly hot. E deadly hot. And what seems to be the problem? <laughs> uh say hi to stream by the way. Oh, <laughs> hey stream. Um 
I'll get to more stuff that I like later, but right now I need to get treated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so certain parts of this will be redacted due to patient confidentiality, which is another fun thing we're learning about today. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but um... Luckily, in the contracts, most of that is gone. <laughs> I mean, wow. the important stuff will uh, be censored, but you know, I mean, the fun stuff we're keeping. Is incredible patient confidentiality only a thing if, like, for like doctors? Yeah, but in this case, we are silent still... civilian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riddle, Riddle gets a smile on her face. Um, she like moves over. Is like, okay, so. At the very beginning, um, you said you felt hot? Yeah, I think I'm experiencing burn. Oh, okay. Uh, so immediately, um, okay, Argos. No, this is actually important. Okay. Yeah, Argos, <laughs> could you hit her with the scan? And Mike, could you censor what, you know? <laughs> Mike chirps up in your ear. Yeah, of course. Yeah, just give her a quick scan, Argos. Yeah. Argos activates single handed savior and around his arm, some. Hard light forms a little screen and data about Willow's condition prints out on it. <laughs> okay, excellent. Give me, you can roll to die and then roll to do. This will determine basically bonuses moving forward on this little hospital trip. Lock in whatever you want and then go for it. What if I don't want to lock in? You don't have to. If you don't want to lock in any of these, because obviously your best stat wound up as a one, you can click on your character, go to roll to do complex, select your purple stat, and then roll with that. Rolling to die wow. just gives you an advantage of having a locked in number if you want to keep that. I see. Yes. I'll roll to do complex. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this nice little interface here. Wow, it's very this single-handed nice. savior sure is something. Yeah. <laughs> is the amount Thank of D6 one? Uh, no, just none. Or, zero, no, zero, zero, zero. Oh, oh yeah. No okay. bonuses on this, unfortunately. So, bam. Okay. So, bam. You Man. quickly scan her, and I'm gonna mark her with you know <laughs> your tactical mm. decision making that you can convert to anything else at any time. Um, you give a quick scan of, uh, Willow's body, and almost immediately, there are anomalies. Multiple, significant anomalies that immediately spike to your attention. Mm. And then Mike goes, oh boy, single-handed savior is a little more thorough than I expected. Okay, okay, let's censor this. Um, okay, so that didn't sound uh, That's good. a lot of <laughs> alert symbols. Uh, okay. Is it bad? Yeah. No, I, I... We, I, as doctors, we never say anything's bad. Right, right, right. We see it as opportunities to heal you. <laughs> <laughs> she, nud she nudges you with her elbow, like, doing great, by the way. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. So your electrolytes are a little on the low side, but within acceptable levels. It looks like... You're showing symptoms of ligma. Uh, what's electrolytes? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Riddle picking up literally none of this is like, okay, so... I... Hmm. I think there's no way around it, so long as Argos is actively scanning you, they're gonna figure out the truth sooner or later. Willow, is it okay if I tell them? Oh, yeah, you, you can you can tell them. Okay. She, like, hops up on the edge of the bed. So, I, from what I understand it, Ace has already informed you about sort of universal composition. Like, how everything in the world is made up of three core elements, right? There's <laughs> the element of humanity, the element of dreams, the element of gravity. And that comprises literally everything. Like, if you scanned me or Ace, you would get basically different elemental readings from those three, right? Right. And then you described inside that there's a fire. fire. 
Yeah. There's a fourth element on the inside. And, um, well, in Willow's case, she doesn't have any of those three. She's got three entirely different separate elements entirely. So, as a result, we need to keep her properly medicated with elements from outside of this world in order to make sure her body doesn't functionally break down. So... That sounds pretty severe. It's rough, but so long as we... She's sort of size. So long as we keep her properly supplied, she'll be fine. Uh, Riddle well, looks over days. Uh, raises his hand. Uh, question. Yeah? What is she made of? Um, her core composition. Uh, Riddle, like, focuses down. Uh, she's made up of, uh, a different triangle of three elements. Is it okay if I tell them? Yeah, you can tell them. It's not a big deal. Uh, so... <clears throat> She's made up of, uh, Riddle's going to, Riddle pulls up a chart and slides it over to you. Let me, let me hop over and look at this. She is made up of survival, tomorrow, and high spirits. Uh, and with a fire in the middle? With the fire in the middle, yes. Huh. Okay, that's, uh... Yeah, she's... Have Literally Have you ever seen different. anything like this before, Doctor? Uh, yeah. Occasionally when people are damaged in a very specific way, we need to... We need to sort of craft in alternative elements to compositionally change them so that they can still contain the flame inside of themselves. The important thing is the balance. Willow actually chose these elements for herself. We've got a stockpile. Okay. Well, is it still okay to heal her the regular way? Oh, Cox uh, gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, the important thing is, at least for now, so long as we're able to stock up on these other world elements, she says, uh, raising and lowering her fingers with, to, to create the finger quote effect, uh, she'll just heal normally. So I'm going to go grab you some pills for her. Would you mind giving her a scan just to tell me? what area she's deficient in? Hmm. Scan in progress? <laughs> Give me a roll to do. I will. Ooh, okay. Immediately, you get the feeling that she is currently deficient in... She is high in the survival element and deficient in the tomorrow element. <laughs> Aren't we all? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, she's, uh, high survival, low tomorrow. Low tomorrow, okay. Uh, I'll be right it's back. Means nothing to me, but... Yeah, and... I guess I should have spent more time in doctor school. <laughs> Riddle, like, waves her hand. It's like, it's fine, it's fine. You'll, you'll pick it up more as we go, especially if this keeps coming up. She, like, moves out of the room. You're the slide, uh, this slide shut of the door is... Thumb. Did she just <laughs> ominously say that we might be made of other things eventually, too? Uh, serve? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Oh, you okay? Uh, you, you call out for serve, as serve just flares back to life like... Uh, you called? Oh, yes, I forgot. Yeah, I left my body over uh, here, staring into the sun, yes. <laughs> Yo, buddy, you can't just leave your bodies laying around like that. That's, uh, irresponsible. I, I can't. You're gonna fact. get all... You <laughs> gonna get dirty. Mm, he shakes his head. I keep, I keep my body strategically stationed in different locations throughout the hospital in various states of inertia, just in case a problem should arise. And does the face down, ass up position help you? <laughs> it is certainly not disadvantageous. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, listen. I just learned about bedside manner. But doesn't this seem a little unprofessional unprof to leave your body just laying here in a patient's room. Mm. He shakes his head. The true essence of professionalism is efficiency. Uh. Okay, this isn't my, my job. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna... 
<laughs> Willow, Willow, how are you feeling? Honest, I'm feeling. I'm not feeling great. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, you're fundamentally built different. Yeah, I'm built different. She flexes. <laughs> Did you? So you knew, you knew about this. This is something you've had to sort of manage then. Yeah, actually, well, manage is a, is a weird word because I don't remember the last time I was deficient in something. Mm. So this is new to me. And that's well, it, it's a good thing that you're here, I guess, where we can deal with it. Yeah. It's an interesting thing. Okay, back with the pills. She rushes into the room and like immediately runs them over to you, Argos, and is like, okay, so you're the one who can actually tell what her various levels are, so you're the one who needs to figure out exactly how much we're administering. Okay, this just got way more real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll do it over a course of a few weeks. It's fine, just basically give me whatever info you can read from her, and we'll figure it out together. Okay, I'll forward you everything coming out. Well, not everything coming out of single-handed savior. That would yes. probably be oh. so much data oh. it would kill a person. But yeah, electrolytes and ligma. <laughs> Riddle says, "Talking an eyebrow." <laughs> okay. Uh, should I roll to do to? Yeah. Prescribe give me, medicine again? Give me, give me a roll to do to prescribe <laughs> elemental wizard medicine. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, oh shit. Sure, yes. <laughs> Argos, this is like, honestly, in terms of how single ended savior breaks it down, it is pretty simple, actually. You're like, oh, oh this one's big. Then you scan basically like the dosage that Riddle's oh. going through, and it's like, oh. I figured out how to turn it into a chart. That makes it way easier to read. All right. I put my hand on window on Willow's shoulder. You're going to live. <laughs> there was a chance of me dying. I mean, you were running out of tomorrow. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to live. You super live. I don't know. I feel like you were already kind of super living. I am. <laughs> anyway. Take that these pills. Just Twice harder. a day. Okay. Uh, Ex excellent work, no Dr. To Argos. Eat with, to eat with food. Thank you, Super Surgeon Riddle. Th and thank, thank you, you uh, random bystander. <laughs> no. and this oh, yeah, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, that one hurt. That one hurt. <laughs> well... Okay, so are you ready for your checkup? Yeah, why can't we do it in here? Uh, we have to move next door. It's part of procedure. Uh, yeah, we, I, I just scolded Surf about this. <laughs> yes. not, yeah, I guess. But, like, right. you know, uh, he's let's, not here. Let's get this guy on an operating table. No. Uh, Willow, do you want to come with? Oh, yeah, of course. I love being in people's business. Why, why, <laughs> just have to go to a different, why can't I just lay in the bed? And why do we have to go to a separate identical room it do, do you want do you want the actual answer or do you want me to uh, what's the actual just, answer just yeah uh in terms of blocking this security footage it actually helps a lot because it's basically broken into its own record it's like opening up a new case otherwise i need to splice the film manually and that's like one extra step let's just walk 30 feet uh. also i sweated a lot in that bed so you probably don't want to sit in that <laughs> also yeah uh, bug juice <laughs> you call it bug juice <laughs> i ain't juicy <laughs> normally we call that gamer sweat <laughs> you all head out and then we're gonna catch up with of course basil <laughs> let me let me hit a button jim day um, it's time for Gym Day. James P. Nasium. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this. Uh, okay. It's so. really your fault for letting these two idiots all on their own. Yeah, communicate. <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw Basil down. Idiot, <clears throat> idiot communication. And? <laughs> Danger. 
<laughs> Over at the gym, Danger charges in like, Okay, welcome to the gym. I know this place like the back of my hand. Oh, yeah. So tell me what you want to know. Um, well, what do you do here? Okay, so you like lift weights and you swim and like it gets you, it makes you strong or something. Oh, that makes sense. Hi, um, good, good after, good afternoon, the two of you. What are you doing here today? Hello, we're here to work you. out. Yeah, we're here to work out with James Pinasium. With James Pinasium, point us to him. He uh, who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I don't entirely understand. Are, are you here to practice with your reflections or work on your physical aptitude or something? No, I'm not allowed in the danger room again. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I got a room? <laughs> he looks suddenly really excited. I heard uh, we all have rooms. Yes. Um. Well, he's like... You feel Luke in real time deciding if this is his responsibility or not. <laughs> He's gonna roll for it. Why don't I show you two around? Wow. Oh, it, yes, don't get too excited. <laughs> he says moving over here. Isn't this exciting? I... I'm trying not to get too excited. Yeah, it's pretty Probably cool. Only because Luke told us not to get too excited. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I gotta say. I was kind of hoping that I'd be the one who was able to show you around. Don't worry. I'll only be paying attention to you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Luke moves into this room. is like, well, this is the locker room. You change here. Why would you need to change? Clothing primarily uh, is not suited for I. Oh. <laughs> he, he suddenly realizes who he's talking to. Not all sets of clothing are suitable for every environment. In this case, you will need to change into gym clothes to use the gym. Well, I only have this plug suit and a swimsuit. So which one is better suited for this situation? Yeah, plus like all these clothes are pretty much hard coded in. Like my model's got one display. This is pretty much my skin. <laughs> I... See, right, yes, you two are special exceptions. Anyway, moving on, <laughs> he turns around and doesn't answer the question. Danger's like, that wasn't helpful at all. It's okay, we're special. We, yeah, yeah, you know what, we are. <laughs> he gets this big beaming smile on his face. Uh, Aura moves down the hallway, he's like, yo, hey, what's up? Uh, you two, like, do you need help or, like, a tour or something? I'm about to go lift weights with my giant mechanical crab claw. Oh, you can increase sounds... the muscularity of a robot arm? That sounds awesome. I didn't know you could do that. Dang, should we ditch Lug and see this? Uh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell if you don't tell. I won't tell if you don't. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> These two immediately bail and Or's like, okay, so like, here's the thing. I'm like, it's gym day, right? It's it's big gym day. It's the day that we're all supposed to be working out, right? I got my robot claw today so that I could lift weights with this and I would have to do physically nothing. Isn't that like cheating? Yeah, isn't that like cheating, man? I mean... This robot claw is now an extension of me. It has become part of me. This is my partner now. And when I get an AI partner, I'm going to put him inside the robot claw. Interesting. Whoa. Fascinating, huh? Uh, does that mean if I become your AI partner, I get to become a robot claw? I guess. Yeah, sure, man. He, like, moves into the room. It's like, okay. How frequently <laughs> are they dealing out AI bodies anyway? Uh, uh, I think I'm kind of low on the priority order. I think next is Cam so he can drink the first water. He but does it's... deserve to drink the first water. He wouldn't stop telling me about it. <laughs> yeah, next up I think is actually Sophie. He like fake sits down on the, uh, on one of the benches. 
But she's got like, she's got like special considerations, huh? I think she actually wanted to talk to Argos about that today. Huh? Why is there a line? Why can't you just go get a body? Well, they're developing them one at a time. It takes it takes a very specific elemental makeup in order for us to like work. They gotta find the like right ratio and they're just brute forcing it, trying it again and again and again. Apparently they've been struggling with cams for a while. And like Sophie's is difficult because she's like working on her identity and stuff, which like means the body that they could theoretically make for her might not match the person she is. It's like But you've got like, plenty of identity. Yeah. No, like if it was me, I'd just be me, but I'd have like a bigger muscles. <laughs> Aura in the background. Screech Arr! as the barbell is lifted up and you watch as he's like, I fucking love this thing. And then you watch as the giant crane arm bends it in two and he's like, no, 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 fucking no. <laughs> so when do we start eating? <laughs> Basil, you offer that as over here. This man just sighs wistfully, staring into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Someone crawls her way up the ladder off to the side and is like, Are you going to stay here like that? Are you. For a while, I thought you were watching me in the pool, and I thought that was strange, but no, you're just staring at the pool itself. I'll stay until I feel up to going. I see. Well, back in then, she just leaps back into the water and keeps swinging while Luke spaces out, watching the rippling waters. Over here. <laughs> oh, wow, a slightly darker room. Yeah. Okay, it's getting the well, bed. Complaining about the wait. Yeah. Why yeah. do you make my room so dark, so so bright? Uh, uh you know, bright well, people go in bright rooms. Yeah, yeah it's your winning a smile. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's on manner. Yeah, literally, all three of us jumped on the compliment at that exact moment. We were all thinking it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm in the bed now, so you have to be nice to me. It's true. Okay, she like she yep. smiles. She thinks this is funny. <laughs> okay, so uh, mm -hmm. can we talk briefly about your hallucinations the other day? Oh yeah, yeah, hallucinations. Uh, e yeah. Uh, they happened. Yeah. Okay, can you answer about your hallucinations? The yeah. Other day? Can you describe them how they felt or? I mean, you were there. <laughs> she shakes her head. In a manner of speaking, yes, but ultimately your perception of the inside of your own mind is your own. I don't have the power to peer into your mind. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, it was my old house. Uh, my sister was there, you were there, and uh, a bunch of demons were there, but I ignored them, so... Okay, that's good. Uh, also, demons. How mm. often do you see demons in hallucinations? Uh, like, uh, normal amount. Normal, what is a normal amount? Like, <laughs> it happens a regular, mm -hmm. every time you hallucinate, you see demon face? I mean, I, every time anyone would hallucinate, they'd start seeing things, probably. <laughs> so uh, you're seeing them in the room right now. Yeah, huh. Uh, no, oh. there's. Uh, is there any in the room right now? <laughs> <laughs> there are no demons in the room right now, Ace. <laughs> they're, they're not right now. And you no. see them every hallucination, like Willow said? I mean, probably. How okay. often do you hallucinate? Um. Uh, how often does Ace hallucinate? Uh, only around these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only around, uh, you guys, for the most part. I see. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I yeah. don't know how to take that. They've only. It's. Uh, these things have only kind of started ever since I met Riddle. Oh. Uh, on the train that day. Uh, yeah. I have some questions about that, too, if you don't mind asking. Or uh, don't mind answering. I mean, there's a lot of things, uh, we can get that in a second. I think a scan or oh, stuff yeah. would probably... I'm not the doctor, though, well, so... 
Yeah, no, Maybe first things just first. And his brain and get these answers out of him. Yeah. E yeah. Oh boy. Now scanning your innermost secrets. <laughs> I scan it's his innermost secrets. Um so, first of all, immediately good news. No errors whatsoever at first. It was like it was almost like Willow was feeding you uh errant information. It just didn't it didn't make any sense given the context that single-handed savior uh, normally provides. Uh with Ace, all of the data that it's feeding you is very natural. As Riddle said earlier, very rooted in this world. Normal mixture of oh, hmm. yeah, looking at it, he's fairly middling in terms of humanity relatively high in gravity but like normal amount all within parameters single-handed savior beeps back that everything's fine his fire seems a little weaker than you might expect and then you're like oh huh weird and then you look at his, the final bit of his elemental composition and you look at the area that that the dreams element should be and there is literally nothing. It is broken off of the side. Literally, it is like you are now looking at a person who the entire front half of their body was simply cleaved off. You notice a hole in the triangle, wide open. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Riddle, can I get a second opinion on this, please? Uh, sh <laughs> sh sure, sure, sure. What's, what's up? Hmm. Hit so you know how a triangle has three points, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have much of a triangle. He is... What the fuck? How are you alive? Uh, I mean, I'm here. No, I just... Sorry, that's bad bedside manner. That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> I... Oh my god, that was so rude. I'm so sorry. It's just a few of these things, right? Yeah, yeah, normally you need three of these, and so burn happens when your flame is exposed functionally to the open air, it cleaves away at your elemental cage, and when it's like that, other things can freely influence you. Ace, this means you have no protection. L literally none. Guys, it's, yeah? It's like you are just open to the forces of the universe, and they can just met- Ace- <laughs> Sorry, I, bad bedside manner again. She, I, she rubs her, she I, rubs her forehead. Uh, like I said, a uh, broken vessel. What does? Who I said mean, that? A, who told a, you that? I, 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 I just heard it before. Okay, from so, from me. I, hallucination. <laughs> was it, was it from. Okay. Oh. Okay. Actually, so, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. She uh she like folds her hands together and she's like, okay. So, when you are suffering functionally high levels of burn, it can become difficult to tell fact from fiction, your world from other worlds, past from future. The most common side effect is cryptomnesia. It is a phenomenon where someone believes that they have insight into future events, maybe another life, some other equivalent, but they're actually just drawing on events from the past. Your functionally the shape of your elemental cage is so distorted. I'm shocked you have a functional grasp of reality at all. That's um very impressive. Are you just doing that through sheer willpower? I mean, I I meditate. I uh, you know, I I've 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 many demons have come to my door. I've told them all to leave. That's good. For the most part. That's good. Yeah. yeah, for the uh, most for the most part. Is it really it? that easy? I mean, I, what? I but just not having. Him... Mm. Look, no means no. Okay, yeah. you, Argos here. He puts a hand on your shoulder, Argos. <laughs> the weak demons are the ones that ask permission. The strong ones don't give a shit, anyways. So, have you encountered many strong demons? It's... Uh, well, there was the incident the first day we got our reflections. Right. Uh, if you could scan my hand, Argos. Beep boop. Okay, give me a roll to do. And you can obviously cash in your little tactics thing for boosts, etc. To boost your next roll, etc. I don't need it. You I don't, don't need it. Let me let me throw. So, would 
not having this barrier intact make him more susceptible to demon possessions, no. like what happened with Mel? Exactly. No, exactly. You get mm. it. Literally, the only thing that's separating him from them is his ability to tell them to uh, fuck off. So, mm -hmm. wouldn't that make him a hazard to have on the team? I'm not trying to bench you here, but... Yeah, unless we get this dealt with, this is dangerous, Ace. I... if you have to bench me... Uh, well, maybe we can just pump you full of pills or something. <laughs> <laughs> we... We could theoretically repair the dream section of... I mean... Uh... uh w consider. Yeah. Right? Did you ever see my sister's elemental composition? No, I'm not capable of perceiving it. I do ever think that maybe it's just because of who I am? Uh, how so? You're saying it's genetic I mean, and you were born this way? Probably. Maybe. I mean, you gotta consider, I, I'm lacking the dreams part of the triangle, right? Y yeah. My family killed the god of dreams. Hmm. Oh. Fascinating. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, so at the very least... Yep. At the very least, if you sleep in an isolation bubble, they won't be able to get to you. I don't uh, sleep. Right, that should have been clue oh, number there's one. There's a lot actually. to Yeah, unpack. that, that no. should have been clue <laughs> number one. <laughs> these, these two, like, holy shit. <laughs> you don't sleep? You... Fiddle, should we, like, call some actual doctors? I... I... <laughs> I, I, I assure you, I'm perfectly healthy. <laughs> we just I'm learned the word that now. Explicitly not true. These three are like Ace. I don't. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> My readout here says you're full of shit. <laughs> yeah. It's not just me. My brother doesn't. Well, he shouldn't. My sister shouldn't either. Uh, right. My father doesn't. It's it's oh. completely hereditary. I think. Uh, uh, Ruth Ruth was a slacker, so she uh, fell asleep a lot. Uh, it's not like I can't fall asleep. It's just that I... <laughs> your theory is falling apart. Here. <laughs> well, no, Wait. no, no. I can fall asleep. I just don't. I choose not right, to do it. Let's do it then. Prove it. I don't want I'll to. You for dreams. Okay. Well, what? that You're not helping them. Ace, you know, that could help. I look. I, if you want me to go to sleep, I guess I can. But all I'm saying is, uh, I, instead of sleeping, I meditate, and that might be why there's nothing in the in the cage, for the most part. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah. You realize this is a problem, right? Uh, how so? You've, you've got a you've got a big hole in the core of your existence. I mean, if I uh, uh, look, if I keep doing what I'm doing, I I've lived this long without anything. Uh, Vault Watcher. Ah, uh, now it's fine. <laughs> Uh, what if you, he, another what if piece in this out. puzzle. Yeah, yeah. What Wouldn't if that you put get, you to sleep? What if you can't meditate or yeah. keep what if you control get of yourself? Knocked out. Uh, Literally, Ace. Hard you've, hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Ace, you've made it this far specifically because you've never slipped up once. That's horrifying. This requires an amount of mental discipline that is, frankly, too much to ask of any living being. I, I, I mean, do you want to inject me with dream? Probably repair the cage, or I, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't. No, I'm. I look, I, it's, it's complicated. I know uh, he just kind of sits up in the bed a little bit. Now, it's kind of like I, I wouldn't say it's a religious thing, but it's like mm -hmm. a philosophy thing. I think that me not having the dream part of my cage is uh, just part of. You what think I it do? Makes you cool? I mean, <laughs> I I don't I mean, it's probably it why I, I am the way right. I am. Well, in that Hello case, bench permanently. <laughs> Hello raises her hand. Uh, yep. Yeah. Why don't you uh, do what I did? And uh, if dreams ain't working for you, can't you put something oh. else in there? It's not a terrible idea. Will yeah, that be no. stable? We, uh, I have no idea. Uh, that's worth looking into. Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's, 
Willow, I you're like she I'm like not qualified to be tinkering with his essence. I I I I've tinkered with essences before. Uh Riddle like Riddle walks over and like scr like scrunkles the top of your hair as you see you see a look from Riddle that you have never seen before, which is the you just made a major science breakthrough or like gave a really good piece of scientific advice, and her smile reaches sketchy levels as her pupils dilate and she taps her foot and she's like, Yeah, yeah. Theoretically whoa, whoa, whoa. speaking. Um what? What's why up? You, why are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at I'm not looking at you like that. I'm looking at her like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, uh, that's that's a worthy note. Um, she like moves back over. Okay, for now, for now, Ace, just be careful. And if you feel yeah. yourself slipping, uh, okay. sleep in my room. All right. Like look, I'm not in it right now. Just use my room. Look, it's it's fine. Like I like I said. Look. Uh, he, he looks at Argus. Remember how I told you before that I don't try all the time? Because mm -hmm. if I try too hard, something might slip in. Mm -hmm. I think that's related to this thing. Y yeah. Okay. Uh, the, and you so, see how that's a problem. I, I just don't have to try. <laughs> what you mean is you can't express a, like big emotions if you try and something's yeah. going to slip in? I mean, yes, but it's been helpful sometimes. I... <sighs> Listen, I don't want someone watching my back who I can't trust, and it sounds like... <sighs> Look, if you try, things go bad, and if you slip up, things go bad, and the only reason things haven't gone bad is because you haven't messed up yet? And then I just won't mess I up. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but hey, Vault Watcher, uh, hey. What, what's your opinion? <sighs> you like, sort of sighs. Honestly, hmm, your situation is extremely fascinating. I understand their concerns, but at the same time, if things get really bad, I won't say you should trust me, but... If anyone's sinking this ship, it's going to be me if you catch my drift. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> okay, so your haunted skeleton will kill you before you mess up. You get it! <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna take this advice over two doctors. <laughs> Riddle. Riddle opens her mouth and is like, okay, at least in the immediate, we're not going to we're not gonna reach a conclusion based on this right now. We don't understand enough. At least for now. Can we prepare something for you to make sure that things from the outside can't interfere with you? I mean, uh, if if you feel like that's, you're gonna you're necessary. gonna have, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to deal with some bandages. Is that okay? Yeah, come on, man. What is it? What what you planning on? What's what we're we talking about? Cert knife surgery, like no, pills no, or... no, no, no. Uh, I'm <laughs> puts away hard life, hard life knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally going to need I'm gonna need our ghost to point out the various areas that your body has deficiencies in dream and I'm going to make you bandages that I write on we'll just wrap you up like a mummy? a little bit yeah uh, it'll be mostly around <laughs> she looks down at the fucked up arm <laughs> oh well you can't wrap that up That's that's where the skeleton is yeah, no. it's gonna be like we're gonna have to put the skeleton on top of it, which means taking the skeleton off for a second. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's fine. Just put up with the bandages for now. It won't let anything in. Just, it's fine. Okay. Just, uh, just wear it for you, now. We'll yeah, figure things before, out. Yeah, before before the bandages though. Uh, like yeah. uh, like I think we got too distracted with the cage thing. Okay. Right. Yeah. There, there's other things wrong. Trust me. <laughs> there's, there's other things wrong. Riddle yells across the thing as she pulls I out mean... lines of gauze. And she's like, <laughs> Riddle starts to write on it with a long ink brush. Uh, this looks like the most, it looks like she is making like cursed bandages on the far side of the room. <laughs> it, you yeah. looked, you looked okay aside from whatever this horrible I, thing you've got going on is. I, I what, mean, what, my I, name is Vault Watcher. 
be polite. Uh, <laughs> hey. 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 I like this guy. All right. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> He shuts the well, fuck up. He's well, pleased. Well, there but, is. Uh, what else is wrong? Tell me uh, your woes. I shall heal you if you let me. I, I, I don't know if you can heal it. Uh, I is this? I'm gonna well, say first of all, remember you say... are on stream in front of millions of people right now. So uh, could you bleep this? Uh, yeah, if you need me to censor it, I've got your back. Um, uh, I mean that's the. Uh, yeah. That's not a great viewing experience, but okay. I mean, I hope my. <laughs> messed up um so i've been hearing voices uh oh okay okay <laughs> what do they say uh, i think it's because of the sword that uh vault watcher gave me last time <laughs> uh it was the immortal blade uh can you you've been hearing voices give you the immortal blade she reaches down and grabs your arm ace he's like ha, i got you and she holds him up by the wrist like ah Trying to chomp at Riddle. I uh, aimed my gun at him. <laughs> what <Vault watcher>. does? <laughs> what does the immortal blade do? Uh, you know, uh, you're the one who wrote the reflection descriptions. You should know if anything. <sighs> that Riddle is a good point. <laughs> Riddle slowly sighs and is like, "So, describe the experience you're going through right now, Ace." <laughs> uh, well, ever since that. Day, uh, certain things like a voice in my head said something once. Uh, <laughs> I've learned skills that I don't actually know. It's, uh, so you are being influenced by outside I, I, forces. I, like I said, yeah. the weak ones ask, the strong ones just kind of do what they want. Uh, okay. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> these two like these two. Or suddenly very intense and on your ass. Uh, I think between Argos and myself, we can remove that one almost likely we did with Melly. Do you want that? No, please, get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm also going okay, to... Okay, thank you. you. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, th 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 there's more? There's, there's more? <laughs> uh, so, uh, the first time with the Reflection Hall, um... Yeah. Uh, me and Basil, Basil also has this issue, but, uh, we touch something to get out of there. Some uh, rainbow flame. Uh, the rainbow flame. Okay. That should be fine. That should be fine? Yeah. Your what burn else? isn't out of control or anything. Yeah, it's just stuck at a solid 10. Are there any side effects? Not yet. Okay. Um, yeah, the rainbow flame should be good. She sort of like relaxes a little bit and then uh it's like okay, let's let's remove that outside influence and then she she's like do you mind if I keep it? If I hold on to it? Keep it? Y yeah, I mean like I'm gonna We're gonna like in a that jar thing from you. Y yeah. But yeah, how did how did how did you know I was gonna use the I, jar? Uh, you don't you don't trust me, but you trust the person who keeps the stuff in a jar. Y yeah. Yeah, yeah the, it can't get out of the jar. It can't. She's a doctor. I, yeah, but this, this, thing's like, <laughs> yeah, this thing's like a it's, bartender. I, how it's dangerous can a bartender a jar. be? <laughs> it's not going to drive a jar and stab me in the back uh, when yeah, I least expect it. Have you seen Cal? I, I wouldn't be, doubt if Cal had a couple bodies under him, okay? <laughs> <laughs> can be we start nice. the operation already? <laughs> be nice to Cal. He is one of the nicest things in this world oh yeah oh definitely that's why he has a couple bodies under him <laughs> riddle's like laughing along uh argos give me give me that roll to do you can obviously cash this in for uh, boosted if you want yeah yeah let's uh let's let's can give I cash okay yeah luckily let's argos see. has his tactics. He's going to tactically not fail this roll. Give me a roll to do. <laughs> Alright, give me a, uh, sorry. Give me a 1d6. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have to type it out like a pleb. Yeah, you do. Huh? Six. Six. Okay. You Listen, you you, you stop fighting it. <laughs> I'm, not fight I'm, I'm not fighting it. Just be careful. He, he bites. 
<laughs> I can't believe you didn't take me off before doing surgery. This is hysterical. Riddle's like, okay, I guess I'll do my part next. She's gonna. Squirming. She's going to. Can't, Riddle is probably gonna also ask to take advantage of another boosted. It's a good idea. She's she's gonna take it. <laughs> Let's. Oh, thank Christ. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Ace, <laughs> the process is not pleasant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as, as a bit of your psyche is literally unentwined, bit by bit, yanked free from your body. I'm going to, uh, ooh, hold on, let me. Let me get rid of your white stat. <laughs> Almost yeah. this long trail of smoke leaves your body, and Riddle's like, ooh, okay. She puts it in a jar, and then writes the label, and is like, mystery bartender. Okay, there we oh, go. Wow, that, that really is just a jar. Yeah, I mean, why would I use anything else? I mean, maybe a more high-tech jar would be good. It's reinforced <laughs> to make sure that things can't interfere with it from the outside. Why fix what's worked for centuries? I, I, I sure you know uh, okay. what I I'm I shouldn't be the one talking about containers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she sort of smiles. I was gonna say it, but broken vessel. <laughs> yeah, she puts I, it over here. It's like okay. So the other thing was you touched the rainbow flame. Uh, would you mind scanning related to that, Argus? Yeah, it's my hand. All right. Let's be careful. Let's with the take same a look at those skeletons on those fingers. You oh. gotta be careful. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, what's you with this other? What's with this other ring here? The one with the eye on it. Uh, that's a part of Walt Watcher. Ah, <clears throat> nope. Afraid not. Ah, he did that on his own. No, no, that came with the other ring let's not think about it you know hard. it's illegal to lie to a doctor I, I i'm not lying you think you think i'm the type of person that would pair himself with another ring no that thing he, he provided the form for that it's almost like that sword he's been dreaming about non-stop I, I don't dream shut up you've been dreaming about a sword <laughs> i i am cool? seriously ready to sedate the patient <laughs> <laughs> can you sedate the ring too <laughs> Do you dream? Do you not dream? Where does the ring? Where did the ring come from? I don't what know is, where. The... What is going on with you, Ace? <laughs> if I knew, I'd tell you. <laughs> okay. And so, I thought I had stuff going on. Examining your arm, you take a look at Ace's arm, and you notice that his flame is gathering in it really intently. There is, there's a mark that he touched something there. Ace has been irreversibly altered in that place. Right. Oh. All right. Uh, Single-handed savior is saying that you do have cooties. <laughs> That's right, everybody. All all the reporters watching right now. That'll be in the articles soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might get a live stream my my medical shit. <laughs> I thought we were doing bedside hospitality. Yeah, well, streaming contracts. <laughs> <laughs> We still get to stream the fun stuff. <laughs> okay, there's nothing you can do about that. Your flame's, <laughs> your flames gathering in your hand. Uh, and I... you said you touched the rainbow flame and it did that? Yeah. Hmm. Why did you do that? It was it was that or dying. Okay, okay. that's a good reason. <laughs> right, like when you feel yourself, your existence of being absorbed and combined with Basil, you kind of just want to get out of that situation as soon as possible. Oh, you were melding with Basil. Okay, I feel ya. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I like being me. For the most so, part. So, we should, for the, for the most part, huh? <laughs> uh, Riddle like wow. walks back over. <laughs> he does have a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, can you blame so... me? I can understand. It sounds exhausting to be Ace Galatine, honestly. We're gonna we're gonna wrap you up. Um, for now, let's just leave it here. We can poke at the hand. We can poke at the broken vessel thing whenever. But for now, let's just make sure that nothing else gets in. 
she starts to she starts to like bandage you. It's like, uh, Willow Argos, would you mind helping with me with this? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. How many people does it take to bandage an arm? Uh, it goes faster if you have three. <laughs> she <laughs> moves there's around. Nothing biting. E yeah, that's uh, Willow. Uh, can you restrain the ring? <laughs> oh. All right, I'll touch him. <laughs> <laughs> Your mistake. <laughs> Can this guy eat food? Uh, probably. <laughs> we don't know because a certain person has been neglecting my feeding schedule. I have a chocolate bar. Oh. Will that stop you from biting for like five five seconds? Yeah, deal done. <laughs> <laughs> He quietly munches on the chocolate bar in the corner as you move around and you bandage wow. up a, a skeleton. That's okay. good, Willow. You could be a doctor. Y yeah, what you're friend? really good at this. <laughs> yeah. All okay. Right. There we go. So, <laughs> nope. By not the yet. power vested in me, <laughs> I knight the doctor. Oh, man. I can't wait to get to pull out my doctorate, show my family back at home. <laughs> Oh, Riddle. uh... Hmm. <laughs> Argos tries to connect to a printer to print out a doctorate, <laughs> but... Mike is quickly throwing one together in MS Paint. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One more thing. She has a hand on your shoulder, sort of preventing you from getting up. You could get up if you wanted to. It would be easy. <laughs> but that's not bedside manners. That's not bedside manner. <laughs> uh, so... You said all of this started when we met, right? Yeah. You were exhibiting some strange behavior back then, too. I think you owe me an explanation for that. Oh. I... Oh, God. Argos... Uh, um, uh, this is gonna be a... The info on that I'm about to say will be released to the public later, so... So it's okay to stream it? No, it's not okay to stream it. It's, uh... <laughs> oh. Just, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fingers yeah. on the bleep button. Don't worry. Yeah, just run, <laughs> run, run some ads or something. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll be right back after these messages. Let me swap this over. So, Ace, you begin recounting a story. I'm gonna be leaning on. The, we're gonna we're gonna go back and forth, and I'm gonna be cooperatively leaning on you while also narrating myself. Yeah. Grab this. Let's do. Oh no, the i7 subbed members won't see the ads. No, <laughs> they're gonna hear everything. This is the future. <laughs> that even subs don't get ad free shit. Fucked oh, up. My God. Down. Yeah. Okay. So. Out. <laughs> A while ago. Two years ago. Two fucking years ago. A skeleton. After bailing your sister out from a... What she believed to be a disastrous date, you took, uh, you took her date back home, making sure that she made it back to Station 1. All right. At that point, your sister, as well as Riddle Arundite, were fighting to the best of their abilities against the Coden invasion. You spent this time together discussing things such as the elemental triangle, the flame, etc. Your conversation, however, was cut short by a roar from the front of the train. A creature yanked itself free from the front passage. You heard the cacophony of screams as they all drove themselves backwards. So... Ace, what did you do? So... Uh, Ace uh, was having a pleasant conversation with Riddle on the train after uh, his sister forced him to walk his date home, <laughs> and uh, only one thing pops into his mind. Uh, there's danger, and uh, there's not much stopping this thing. So Ace asks uh, one question to Riddle. Um, oh god, there's a demon. So Riddle, if you hit it hard enough, does it hurt? Or... Uh, technically speaking, yes. Okay. And so, uh, Ace is just gonna start running off, and before he runs off, he's just like, uh, use your isolation to make sure the people are safe. Uh, yeah, there we go. What the hell? And so, She uh, seems to reflect on this. So, Ace, uh, rolls up, and, uh, yanks 
the 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 pipe that people hold on to off of the wall to just kind of use it as some sort of weapon and keeps moving forward uh towards this demon to make sure that these people oh my god there's more people than i thought oh yeah god. there's a lot of fucking people yeah they all rush back he's going to you... just as just motion for them to just like yeah move back please that's gonna be they good. they pile up behind you rushing further down the train this being begins to move one step at a time towards you. The train car in front of you is empty. You feel Riddle in the back creating a line of isolation, almost cutting the space off. Yep. Okay, and so uh, Ace uh, continues running forward, uh, hearing more people behind this demon uh, and is going to just keep running. And as he gets to them he's not gonna fight it not gonna do anything he's just gonna slide in between its legs praying that he gets past it you slide between its legs and one of those fists punctures through the bottom of the train like a fucking rocket you manage to navigate to the other side yeah uh and as he keeps running he sees uh one lone person on on the train person with code and disease they've fallen over you can see that the codon infection is spreading through their body. Arm up. Yep. Okay, so uh, what Ace does at this point is he goes forward, grabs onto this person, looks back, sees the demon, and just goes, Oh, God. And so <laughs> he, what he does is he holds onto the person and goes, oh, Please hold on tight. Don't want you to hit your head or anything. And he's Same going bubble. to jump out the window. <laughs> and uh, onto the wall of the train, uh, the train tunnel, stab the pipe in so it kind of creates the friction so the train moves past him a little bit more and then uh, is going to uh, jump back in through another window around near where Riddle is, uh, using <laughs> his body to just kind of block the impact of uh, the glass windows and flying back in and just rolling over, making sure that the guy doesn't hit the floor or anything. There is an eruption of glass as you roll across the ground. The being turns around and lumbers towards you, long head slowly crossing the distance. It raises an arm, and it it gets ready to throw a punch. Uh, this one actually connects with you. You slide backwards along the ground, feeling part of you get deeply wounded immediately. No codon disease, but you roll, managing to shield the person in front of you. Uh, they sort of stand up, Riddle runs over, extends a hand, grabs the person, and is like, Ace, 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 come on, yeah. keep it together. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, uh, could you, I don't know, disconnect the train or something? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, she moves herself back over in this direction. The being stumbles forwards. Ace, what happened next? Uh, what happens next is Ace, uh, moves back to the train, where all the civilians are, hoping that Riddle uh, cutting off the train will do anything and praying that uh, the demon wasn't fast enough to uh, catch up. But that wasn't true. Uh, it approached uh, slower, almost reaching them, the cart disconnection not being enough to save. So Ace uh, does what any normal person would do, and he tries to attack the demon by throwing the pipe in his hand at the demon. <laughs> is that all you did? Or did something change at this moment? Riddle is examining you very closely based on what you say. What do you say happened, a skeleton, at this exact moment? <laughs> he saw a vision. You sight seeing a vision. What did you see on this vision? A beach. You a saw lone beach. You saw a beach, and there was someone sitting there on the beach. And their words echoed, resonating deep inside of you. For everyone behind, they saw you take a step forward and throw the pipe. To them, you threw it with the force of a missile. It cleaved through the demon and impacted the ground behind it. A beautiful lance puncturing a hole clear through to the other side. That, of course, was from their perspective. From yours, a fact that only you were aware of. Something had changed about you in that moment. 
steam emitted in a gout and your entire body surged, throwing the pipe with a force you thought to be physically impossible. In that moment, Ace Galatine, you became the person that killed a demon with a pipe in a single hit. Yeah. And, and the moment afterwards is when it got concerning. Uh, because it didn't stop at the demon. Ace wanders back. Hand reached out towards Riddle. And he stops himself. For a moment, it seemed almost like that bloodlust had yet to fade. You thought in that moment of crushing Riddle's head like a watermelon. And that's why I didn't talk to you for two years. <laughs> Riddle's <laughs> mouth opens. <laughs> I see. We we weren't on we weren't on stream for that, right, Argus? And we're back. <laughs> Thanks for uh, waiting, everybody. Yeah. Nothing incredible happened while you were gone. I holy crap. <laughs> There is a moment of silence in the lab. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That there's your explanation. Uh, like I said, <laughs> I have things handled. I um uh uh. Th thank you for considering me. I guess. Yep. Is that why? Hold on, you. You forgot yeah, to mention the final part up. of the story. Oh uh, no, I I I didn't. N no, there was there was one more little bit. Uh, God, I'm not I... buying more ads. <laughs> I... <laughs> well, okay. At the very end, um, Ace said, "Uh, <laughs> actually, let's have a chuckle." Do you have I... to? Yeah, of course. I I think it'll. I think levity will help. She turns over to you, Argos, and like leans into chat. Ace said, "Oh, I left the oven on, and then." dived out of the freshly disconnected train and rolled across the ground for like 30 feet and then just walked it off like it was nothing. <laughs> he... I thought... I thought you hated me. She turns around and like sits down on the bed. I thought that that was such a transparent excuse to not talk to me. You literally dived out of a moving train. Well, oh, you... I left the oven on? Really? <laughs> I, um, you don't know if that was a lie or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay for now ace keep the bandage on all right yeah, Just yeah, yeah. Gonna need some bigger bandages yeah uh she like turns around and like leans into you too hey can i count on your tubes to help with like everything that's happening with them yeah this is uh extensive extensive yeah, it sounds like lot. it's in all of our best interests to make sure that um, we get him uh, treatment, help, help fixed. <laughs> I, I'm not I, broken. I, it's okay, I'm look, not a veterinarian. I, I know he's he's got his defenses down, and he looks like he's sick with multiple different demons trying to get at him, get at his soul and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know. He 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 looks dependable, and you know you heard that story, and that's what you. Yeah, no, I think the biggest thing that we can tell here is Ace is literally, as a person, existing with no none of the automatic defenses that people normally have. Instead, he's built his own, and horrifyingly, he seems to make them work. I don't uh. know how he's making them work, but he's making them work. Ace, Ace is he's squatted down, here, I guess. and he's talking to Vault Watcher, and he's just like, is it, I'm right here, you know. They they they're just acting like I'm not here. <laughs> I know, so rude. People having conversations as if you aren't in the room. Rude as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle <Every> slow. Uh... <laughs> Riddle slowly turns around, like, okay, so, uh, thank you for, thank you for participating in the checkup. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. If I find anything new, I'll tell you. Okay, cool. Uh, Please do, like actually do. I, like, it's, come on, dude. I, what? Like, I <laughs> look. 
it's a lot to take in. Okay. It is. It yeah. Is literally a lot to take in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah look, I, I, I wish, I, I wish my problems was uh, having anime girls fucking hologrammed into me or something. I, I don't get that. <laughs> I, get, I get a Why skeleton. Why would that be a problem? <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike whispers in your ear. That's not a problem, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, Don't I guess. listen to him. He's got no bedside manner. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I've gained some perspective on what you're going through, though. Look, it's fine. <laughs> well, well, that settles that. <laughs> oh, boy. It's like I said, he lived his whole life like this, so... Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I upset you, Doctor. Uh, just look, it's keep it, not screwing up. Look, for all our sakes, oh, it's fine. You, you You're can, good at it, I guess. Uh, uh, Ace puts his arm around Argos. It's fine. Look, look, look. You, you, you said you're gonna keep an eye on me. Uh, you can keep an eye on me at the gym together. <laughs> oh. I, look, I, the reason I'm able to do this is because I, I, I work out. My, my, my shell is strong. Okay, <laughs> you, 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 you can be like this too, man. <laughs> Sir, I'm a doctor. Don't try and trick me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, doctor. Sorry. <laughs> oh my fucking god! And with that, I'm going to. Oh boy. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put us back for our first BRB. Everybody use the bathroom, etc. Oh, Jesus okay. Christ, that was good. <laughs> uh, so, next up, you all have you all have an important decision to make. You can go see Melly, or you can go to the gym. Uh, go to the gym, obviously. Go to the gym. <laughs> or go to the gym. I, mean, I know which one Argos. <laughs> <laughs> Is Ace going to the gym? I mean, I, I don't think he wants to talk to Melly, so I go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta feed Jibo somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gotta okay. feed this man. But yeah, thank Let's... you. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for sitting through all those ads. Yeah, thanks for sitting through all <laughs> those ads, chat. Thank you for sitting through all the ads. Yeah. Argos is so greedy. How is he greedy? Yeah. Because he played so many ads in sequence. Ads. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, yeah, yeah. I did, it. I did it for my friend. And he has a doctorate, <laughs> dude. He doesn't need that. He really just went to a BRB screen. Like the one we're at now. Whoa. Oh my god. The options. Uh, Speaking of which, BRB. Oh, yeah, everybody right take a bathroom in. break if you need it. Everybody hey. chill. Hey chat, I used to think BRB meant bathroom break. It's not, it's be right back. <laughs> bathroom is one word. No. Yes. It's a compound I, word. It's a compound word? Fuck. I haven't heard the term compound word in so long. Well, when was the last time you went to school? Yeah, true. When was the last time it's you went to school? for a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I was in <laughs> school last week. I went to my kid's school. Ah, nice. So this episode is called Bedside Manor, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I know it. It a hundred percent is. It's nice when it happens naturally. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna set up some gym activities. Oh shit! Some gym activities. Sorry, yes, I'm dragging you to see Melly. Uh, okay. You're getting you're getting. Then who's to gonna see do gym activities with Basil? You're gonna see. You're gonna watch and witness. Is Willow gonna girl with a gall? Oh I'm shit, not... actually. Willow, do you wanna take basal training? Yes, I will take basal training. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Babysitting okay. basil is just. <laughs> yeah, no. It's... Somebody's gotta do it. No, I've got a, I've got a plan for the gym activities, though. And then. We'll have Ace, Argos, and Riddle catch up. That's fun. Okay, yeah, I've got a plan for this now. Mm hmm. But yeah, hello, chat. Chat, are you enjoying the session? You enjoying the content? You enjoying the content, chat? 
Okay, let me move you over and you over. You over and you over. And you. Oh, you you put him in a jar? Yeah, he deserves to be in a fucking jar, Rube. What kind of jar? Uh, it's a jar. It's like a, jar. a My Little Pony yeah, jar. Yeah, stop. It's a, uh, it's a CL and Mage jar. Oh. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing weird about this. There's a little white stat in there. Cute little yeah. white stat. There's nothing weird about this. Little white stat. Yeah, I, I see. I see what you're aiming for, and I refuse to engage. <laughs> I deflect it. I I will deflect you're not as long it. as. It. <laughs> Let me deflection. I'm attacking your. I'm attacking your life points directly. <laughs> okay. You. Oh no. What? No, sorry. I just. I heard everybody going, Jibo, no, and then I saw a single message in chat, and then I put it all together. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you understand what's happening now. Yeah. It would never. Great. Okay, so time to grab. Willow, Willow, you and, you and Basil are gonna go on an adventure. Okay. You're not adding big brains to this pot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have a doctor with you now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Is everybody back and good? Yeah. I'm back. I mean, I've been yeah. here, but yeah. I'm back. I never left. And bad. Let's do it. Uh so we're gonna we're gonna pick up with Basil. Actually. Let's do a normal just you're hanging out with people theme. So Basil! You and Danger have been attempting to work out in the corner for, like, probably, like, an hour at this point. Danger can't do anything, and you can simply lift anything that you need to. You're not There's sure why this is a crucial challenge. crucial part of your diet. Iron sure tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> is it crucial? Oh, man. I should start eating iron. Yeah. Uh, what's it I taste like? It it. You said bad? It tastes like pennies. Ah, uh, what, a, what a pennies taste like. <laughs> um coin huh. <laughs> he slowly exhales just like you gotta tell me about what life is like like all the things you've done so far like what's your favorite thing what's, oh, what's the I best do thing i consider myself to be a bit of an expert when it comes to life i've been doing this for three days yeah that's more than i i've lived probably yeah. i mean i guess with the physical body i've lived plenty before that though oh yeah like, uh, my ex What did you exist somewhere within the abyss of the internet? Ah, uh, nah. Nah, I was just lent a bunch of memories and boom, existence. It's kind of oh, nice. Oh, I kind of understand what that's like. Yeah. So I'm wondering what it's like for you to live the way you were. Like, okay. So our construction process was pretty simple. We were basically like given like a starter set of memories and we were allowed to take or leave whatever we wanted and from there we got to build our own personalities appearances and identities yeah that makes perfect sense that's why i remember high school despite the fact that i was born three days ago yeah did the did whoever did whoever made you say like take or leave what you want uh nobody talked to me they just released me into reflection hall oh that's really irresponsible don't Probably. worry I'll watch after you. Good. As long as you have my back, nothing can go wrong. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, what memories do you like and what memories do you hate? Let's run through them. Well, I have a lot of memories of, like, dying. A lot of memories of dying. Okay, yeah. you like those? Uh, well, only because you wake up in, like, another world. Usually, like, a fantasy one. Oh. Oh, whoa. Huh. Yeah. Wait, do so, you have the I answer to life and death? A great adventure. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have to... Seriously, did they pre-program you with the answer to life and death? Um, I don't know. Ask me. Uh, what's the answer to life and death? Yes. <gasps> he lights up. Hold on. Sending Riddle an email. Okay. <laughs> Tell her I said hi. Okay. Uh, Basil says hi. Uh... Okay. Um, uh, is that, is that enough? Should I say more? Uh, do you want to say more? What would you say? Uh, you're, you're asking me for my opinion? Yeah. <laughs> well, if it was me in your position, I would probably like, okay. Me and Riddle kind of got a thing going on. It's like, uh, when I see her, I'm like, oh, behold, on the far side of the room, 
the great temptress, foul succubus, etc. Oh, she that has kind a, of thing. Yeah, she has a bad habit of, uh, she's like, I don't know. She, she seduced my big sister with, with her wiles. She's a seductress? Yeah. So like, I, as a defender of the fair and pure, yeah, no, I pick fights. That's that's cool. What's up? So so I also <laughs> need to develop a thing with her, right? Uh yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Is that kind of what you should do with everyone? You should develop a thing? Yeah. So no, what's our what's our thing? Uh yeah. Well, the way I see it, I'm like I'm like a cool adventuring hero and you're like a cool adventuring like like you're like a hero but strong. You're like a like a barbarian class and I'm like a sword guy class. Oh yeah, I remember that from one of my memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's our dynamic. Yeah. I like I tank the hits, you hit them with your axe. Yeah. But like neither of us can really do that in a practical sense, so it's more like a personal one. So yeah, I'll be your shield. And she, I'll be your axe. She stands up and then dramatically gets on one knee and he's like i'd honored i'd be honored to be your knight lady basil ooh um <laughs> i i appreciate glimmer that. glimmer 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 um, glimmer mr danger <laughs> holy shit what are you two doing <laughs> don't get in the way this is an honorable ceremony yeah <laughs> I see. Okay, cool. Do you want to see me uh, lift and potentially crush one of those treadmills? I've been watching you lift things for the past 30 minutes. And crush them, though. I am getting I am getting bored, so I have moved on to the crushing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see it. <laughs> the door cracks open and somebody moves in. Oh, so this is where y'all are. Like, moves over. And then he stares at you, Basil. Hey, good to see you again. Have we met? <laughs> uh, yeah, once before. No memory? Mm, nope. I was just thinking about all the times that I was reincarnated into another world, and you weren't there. Oh. Huh. But you remember that stuff? Mm, vaguely. Okay. I don't remember what I did in the other world, but I remember it was there. No memories of me, though, huh? No. Uh, do I know you? Y yeah. Hold yeah. on, let me smell you. <laughs> you move over, over and smell Seder. What's you smell like? Uh, give me your uh, roll to uh, do twice. Sure. <laughs> he smells completely unfamiliar. Mm. Nope. Ah, oh, damn. I could taste you too, but that you gotta ask for that. Would that, would that help? Wait a second. You stay away from Lady Basil. <laughs> he gets in the way. He's like, I'm warning you, Seder. You've already got a partner or whatever. Uh, Seder's like, I... Huh. <laughs> you found yourself a little defender there. That's great. He's my shield. He's your shield. Well, you're a shield. Take good care of her, okay? Uh, y y yeah. Yeah, I, I will. Cool. Good. Uh, guess that's all I really wanted to check. Uh, you two take care of each other, okay? Don't get into too much trouble. He sort of smiles. Yeah, we won't. It's not us. No, we would never get in trouble. Mm. All we've been doing is lifting and eating weights. Mm. Keep her safe, huh? She's pretty important. Yeah! <laughs> of course I'm going to take my job seriously. <sighs> Good. Well, uh... I'm just gonna duck out then. You do have a great day. Sort of waves over his shoulder. Walks outside, and the second you leave, Basil, give me another two rolls to do. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Basil, that was for some reason you get a you get a sixth sense that that was remarkably painful for him. Hmm. That was weird. What? I don't know. Um, out of all my interactions, and I've had a lot, that one was different. Huh. Like, um, I've been noticing people lie a lot, right? Yeah. But this feels like he was lying for me? Huh. Whoa, Usually can you they tell? lie for themselves. Yeah. 
What the hell? Can you tell if I'm lying? Do you like smell it? Mm, yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, okay. Oh, I gotta tell a lie then. Uh, uh, Opiate team sucks and I hate them. No, oh, well, I don't even need to sniff for that. Oh. You're a bad liar. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he like sits down. Ah, crap. Don't tell anyone I cursed. I, I won't. I'm, cool. Well, I guess I'll have to find out if I'm a good liar or not. Y yeah, thanks for lying for my sake. <laughs> it will be my first lie that I've ever told. <laughs> Basil, you sit down. Tell me, how does that... Would you mind rolling to die for me? Okay. Tell me how that whole interaction with Seder made you feel. Hmm. Hmm. I'm... I want to know more. I feel like it's going to get me closer to something that I want. <laughs> oh, excellent. A wonderful conclusion. You watch the man go and disappear into the distance as in the background you hear the grinding, snapping noise of Aura destroying something in the weight room. <laughs> and back over here. You come into Melly's room. <laughs> Let me do this. Melly waves. Oh my god, you guys! Welcome to my hospital room. Please ignore all of the guns trained on me. I just yeah, I like Oh, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. I it's Why okay. Are you pointing guns at him? <laughs> uh they're like, I this is an unauthorized reflection wielder. Yeah, 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 don't worry, we're here to take no, her to the no, scene. No, no. Just escort no, yourself just... out. I... Yeah, doctor business. Yeah, Coming it's, through. it's within Coming parameters. Through. Don't just believe me. <laughs> I believe you'll find you uh, her authorization uh, emailed to you shortly, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's funny. The second you came in the room, you noticed that she was like snarling at them the entire time. And <laughs> the second cameras came on, oh my god, hi! <laughs> right. So, she like leans forward. Verona's like, yes, we'll handle it from here. We'll forward the security footage to you. Can you just leave her alone? I don't like having this many guns in oh. my hospital. Actual doctor. <laughs> and they look at each other and then shift and they're like we'll be waiting outside yeah that's right get out <laughs> they move outdoors oh <sighs> thanks for bailing me out from them it's fine now we can they... have our highly complex uh weapons pointed at you instead of their guns hey oh. mine is a weapon of healing Oh my god, are you going to point that scary ring at me? I mean, he bites. I do bite. <laughs> not if you give him chocolate, though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not authorized. He's not a doctor. Yeah, so hand over the goods. <laughs> 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 okay. So, what brings you here today? Riddle speaks up. Oh, this one's very normal. Our ghost just makes sure she's not critically wounded. Just to check up after all the craziness that happens before. Of course, you check her out. And she is wounded indeed, but it is all superficial, very just like, ah, yes, she was thrown around by a demon and fired at repeatedly. It seems like the surgeon has already done a very good job of attending yeah. to her wounds. Okay, great news. Uh, <laughs> you're much better off than some people. Oh my god! <clears throat> Am I winning the most healthy competition? Um... No, that's me. Uh, no, uh, it is absolutely Willow. not. It's, it's, it's Willow? <laughs> it's probably Willow. <laughs> yeah, Ace, you're like the most unhealthy person, but you're like walking I, on the edge. That's you're like you're instantly you're dying. dying. Your diseases are all fighting each other, and somehow <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> and you're just lucky, Willow. The diseases here probably just don't know what the fuck you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's uh, built different. <laughs> yeah. In a fight between the diseases, by the way, I would win. 
It's because you are a disease. Thank you. <laughs> I like her. Ace, if you die to one of your many diseases, pass me along to her. Bequeath me. <laughs> if I die, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in this case, I guess the question becomes, Melly, what are you going to do next? Huh? What do you mean? Like, uh, what's your next step? Verona moves forward. Yes, I wanted to speak to you about that, particularly your future here with the organization and in general. Right now you're being treated as a patient, but you are a reflection user with, a. Uh, Quite potent reflection. Um, do you have thoughts? Melly blinks a few times. Uh, I don't really know. I didn't really think about it. Hmm. Uh, is what? What? What can I do? <laughs> Argos, I can. can you do me a favor? Uh huh. Can you turn your camera off for a little bit? Ah. <sighs> Okay, guys, another ad break. I know you hate to see it, but it's Ace's fault. <laughs> Ace, you'll make it up to chat with some fan service later. Uh, it's fine. Uh, okay, now camera's off. You can say what you really want. Uh. <laughs> Immediately fades. She's like, okay. Um, well, yeah, I don't really know what to do sort of at a loss like i got this reflection thing and i've had guns pointed at me all morning and that's annoying yeah. it's not gonna be like the rest of my life probably not probably not i hope not there are a lot of guns in this hospital yes i just prefer when they're that's in our good. possession and not you know others yeah, <laughs> yeah. i understand completely <laughs> uh, well, there's a couple options you can take. You can just remove your reflection and go on your normal life. And I have a deal for you. Mm. If you get rid of your reflection, I can get you in contact with my manager. She's going to think about that pretty hard. Oh, she'll take. I mean... We... You should probably check, like, does she have a choice in what happens? Like, are, I mean, are the powers that be going to force her to uh, have the reflection removed, no matter what? I mean, at the end of the day, we call the shots, or we will call the shots in a few moments. If you want to stay in Opia, we can figure something out. You can join Wave 3, because you didn't attend the training courses that we have. She's quiet. Huh. And if I keep the reflection, I'll be fighting the apocalypse, right? Yep. But if you don't do that, you get in contact with my manager. It won't be easy, because if you suck, you suck. But if you work hard, <laughs> your dreams can come true a little bit. And I get some time to decide. Yeah. I mean, this is a very big decision. Probably. So, you know, you can take your time. Just wanted to throw that offer out there, see your honest opinion, and then Argos can just turn the camera back on and you can just do what you do. Molly's quiet for a second. Uh, uh, I guess honest opinion from the room. What do you think I should do? I don't want you to have that reflection. She like looks over to you, Willow. Oh, if you if you ask me, um, I don't really like influencing you on this decision. It's pretty big, but if if you want my my opinion, like if you want to help save the world, then go for it. But just know that uh. You, you could die doing this. Riddle sort of waves her hand. I'm sort of with Willow. I don't want to influence this decision one way or the other. I'm afraid my opinion might be a little too pragmatic for the situation. 
I'm not really able to properly take your feelings into account. Please skip me if you could, okay? She like scans her gaze over to Argos. Hmm. I guess I'm I'm part of Flow for sort of a different reason. I didn't really sign up to save the world. I just sort of came with it. So I wouldn't say that saving the world is the only reason why you might want to join. But the risk of death, it is there. So if it's not something that immediately appeals to you, or you don't have a strong reason to do it that immediately comes to mind, then it probably isn't for you. Strong reason. Oh. She, like, picks away at the end of her hair. Look. Eh. Mm. She looks you, over to you. You saw exactly what happened to Ruth. How this affected her. How all this stuff happened. And if you joined and something happened to you and Ruth, when Ruth comes back, you know? Give me a roll to do. No. Yeah. Roll to do... Can I roll the die first, or...? You can, of course, if you what? tell me how Ace feels about saying oh, this. Oh God, Ace. Yes. Uh, Melly Ooh. is one of Ace, uh, one of Ruth's only friends. Uh, the other person that Ruth knows that uh, Ace knows that's Ruth's friend is Riddle. And after hearing what has happened to Ruth from a friend of hers dying due to the coda. Uh, having Riddle and Melly in this situation is not really the best thing, uh, and he doesn't want when Ruth comes back uh, for it to really... Uh, she wants her Ruth's friends to be alive when she comes back. So, Excellent. Yeah. And so, uh, what he's going to do is uh, lock in red. Yeah, and then I'm going to roll the Whoop. Yes! Fuck! Beautiful! We love to see it. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay, cool. I know how I'm going to act on this. <clears throat> uh, Melly's... God bless. God bless the dice sometimes. I fold my fucking hands. Um, okay, let's do... Um, let's do this one. <clears throat> Melly, like, sort of, like, shrugs and leans back in the bed, looks out the window. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Uh... <clears throat> Back home, everyone was a big supporter of me singing and dancing. Um, wound up becoming a spokesperson for, like, a big fruit company. I don't think they'd really want to see me swinging around a weapon or anything like that. My big focus was always music. Um, she, like, sort of sighs. Probably suck a lot for them if they... Found out they gathered all their money to send me away to the big city, and then I just died fighting a demon or something, right? I already got the jump start for my career from appearing on that stream. I don't gotta go much further than that. This is good enough. Wow. <laughs> me, me, aloha, wow. Uh, that one, uh, what? Huh? I'm... <laughs> don't worry. I... Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh... <laughs> um, she's like, uh, so in that case, um, yeah, let's do this thing. She sort of like raises her arms up and Riddle's like, uh, we'll need time. We'll need to study your reflection. You'll need to spend a few days in the hospital. For now, would it be okay if at the very least Melly got to take some time to herself? Maybe a little more time to think about things. Uh, yes, if you want to, if you want to go home, I'm sure I can swing it with Geist. They're pissed off enough at us already. Just take it easy, okay? Okay. Melly sort of like puts a hand on your shoulder, pulls herself to her feet. Thanks, Doctor. No problem. <clears throat> uh, so I guess just tell Stream I had it out or whatever. Okay. She sort of waves and walks out through the door. <clears throat> it's 
So, that's... Hmm. It ultimately is her decision to make. <sighs> and, Ace, for what it's worth, I do agree with you. That... That's sort of what I've been telling her all morning. Yeah. She's... Uh, she's something. She's... We'll see. I don't know. I... She can make her own decisions, and... Like I told yeah. her when she bound that reflection... Uh, if... <laughs> if uh, she starts bitching and crying, that's her fault. <laughs> Brona sort of sighs and nods, is... like, yes. Willow? Is, is that fine, though? She I mean... sounded like she was just... Wanted to settle, like... It sounded like she maybe wanted to do it, but... Oh, oh. Yeah. No, that's a very good point. Uh, Verona, like, looks over, is like, Yes, that's right. You two were... You two were very adamant on her making her own decision back there. Riddle sort of, like, opens her mouth, looks over to Willow. Uh, well... I mean, logistically speaking... I think it'd be a shame to turn away somebody who wants to fight the end of the world. Uh, she shakes her head. She's... I think if you just screened her, made sure she had the aptitude for it, she'd make a great addition to the team. Uh, she, like, lightly shrugs. Uh, but... Right, but... <laughs> she didn't go through the proper means or methods of training. Riddle... <laughs> sort of shrugs and looks over at Willow. <laughs> not, a, not of the nine! Look at me, I'm here! Yeah. I didn't um, do half of that. Also, think about it this way. You need to pass a certain bar in order to even be accepted into the training camp to begin with. Then a year of time is taken away from you as you prepare for this lifestyle, correct? Functionally, what this means is flow, as it stands right now, with these guy slayed specifications, is reserved for primarily people who have a large amount of disposable income to take a year off of their lives in order to do this, or exceptions, like Willow. So, as a result, we don't really have an organization that is made up of what I would call normal people. I think that amount of perspective and new blood would be good for us, because right now, um... It's sort of slanting towards the rich and powerful. <laughs> she, like, lightly shrugs. Rona's like, I... That is not an angle I'd considered. Um, okay. Uh, well, if she comes back, I'll consider that at the very least. She sort of, like, mumbles off to the side. Uh, hmm. Actually, where did, where did she go? Uh... Riddle, like, turns back around. I think she went home. You going to check on her? Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm gonna go check on her right now. Okay, okay. good. Um, th thank you. <laughs> Riddle chimes in lightly. <laughs> Riddle starts running out the door. Oh. <laughs> Willow, you take off. And let me... Hold on. I'm I'm tying. I'm tying Basil into Willow. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> uh, let me... Uh, Riddle like looks over at Ace. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Something you said back there was kind of funny. Mm hmm. You're trying to protect her? Yeah. Why exactly? Because it would be. It would suck if she died. Uh, yeah, for any particular mm -hmm. reasons beyond the norm. I mean, do you want people to be in our line of work? She nods. If they want to be, yeah. I can't relate. <laughs> she sort of like shrugs. It's like, um, if I see someone willing to stand up and fight the good fight, I sort of want to root for them. I don't want to keep people away, even if they might not, even if they might not understand the full extent of it, I think... I think restricting reflections and their usage, particularly to a very elite few, is not allowing us or the people of this world to fight to the best of our abilities. I think if somebody has a will, we should give them the chance. I mean, uh, sure, that's... But what if it leads to the natural thing of 
We can't just go around handing super weapons out to people, Riddle. How are we going to choose? She sort of shrugs. Well, the Reflections sort of choose their wielders to begin with, right? That one picked her. I think we can trust that. Who <laughs> looks at Vault Watcher? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh. What? What? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> ah, just nothing. Look. What? <laughs> I get where you're coming from. I understand you don't want the powerful, the rich, to have too much of that power. I don't really care about that stuff. I don't care about the weapons. I just don't want people to go off to their death when they don't have to. Mm. She's sort of... She's sort of nods. Mm. None of us have to. Mm. I... <laughs> The important thing is having the choice to, I guess. As severe as it might be. <laughs> she lightly shrugs. <laughs> uh, Verona like sighs. She's like, I understand the idealism. However, also understand that we are in charge of monitoring and making sure that these people have a chance at success. So please, for a second, think of the poor bureaucrat. She says, gesturing with her thumb to herself. It has to manage all of the paperwork related to this. <laughs> I mean... I see. <laughs> I, we could use more bureaucrat, bureaucrats. Why don't we just, instead of giving them powerful weapons and sending them off to their death, why don't we just have more people to do paperwork? I... <laughs> Riddle is <laughs> about to say something and she's like, I'm... You know what, touche, to some extent, I was about to say paperwork sucks. So does... Risking your life. She she shrugs and she's like, Do you, Ace, if given the choice, would you push pencils? Would I push pencils instead of doing yeah. this? Yeah. I wouldn't push pencils. I wouldn't do this either. I'd do neither of them. What would you do? Do what I want, which is not be here. I see. She like looks over. She's like, well, at least for the foreseeable future, it's nice to have your cooperation. Yep. No. <laughs> um, it might be naive of me to say, but someday I hope you want to be here. Mm. That's when you know a demon really did possess me. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> she lightly smiles and shrugs. Meanwhile... And we're back! <laughs> Out at the entrance. Alright, Ace. Time for some fan service to make up for that. Blow a kiss at the camera. Right, fine, let's go to the gym. You guys are going to what, the gym. What? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so you are going to... <clears throat> We're gonna catch up with Will and Basil. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Over here. I physically place Basil here. Willow, you sprint out after Melly, whatever the fuck direction she went off in. Well, dashes through and then <laughs> bumps into <laughs> this. Ah, Lady Basil, I'll defend you, you pass through him. Darn it, I failed dangerous. my first assignment. <laughs> no, you did your best. Don't worry about it. She's very <laughs> strong. She is. Ah. Among the strongest people I know. Ah. Okay, cool. I can accept the last of that. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't even seen her do squats. <laughs> oh, you haven't? Hold on. <laughs> she does oh, one squat really quickly. Wait, I can't get Whoa. distracted. Basil, this is important. That was a good squat. What? What's wrong? You were in a hurry. Was it to do squats? <laughs> no. You know how people lie? And it's yes, I hate stupid? that. <laughs> well, Melly lied to herself and didn't do what she wanted to do. And I'm trying to make her know that she should do what she wants to do. She lied to herself. <laughs> Whoa. That's fascinating. <laughs> Why would yeah, she do that? I don't, I don't really know. Why was she talking to herself? 
she was she was talking about joining opia or giving up on you know this lifestyle and just i don't know being an actor or something i, I didn't really get half of it didn't you <laughs> want to be a singer huh singer and a dancer yeah that sounds right she'd yeah. be good at that wait hold on but she gave up on she gave up on the whole fighting thing yeah, she gave up on the fighting thing, and she looked so miserable doing it. Oh, well, we have oh. to make sure she risks her life for the rest of the world. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Let's go get her. Uh, I, if you're looking for Melly Luxity, she departed by ta via taxi a little earlier. What? Taxi? Yes. Um, I think she's headed back to the Undercity. We could catch it. Oh yeah, we definitely can catch up. Hold on, do I have my backpack on me? You do. <laughs> Alright. Don't freak out. I shouldn't even be opening this in the middle of the, the oh, hospital. Oh, you're opening this in the middle of the floor, I see. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, let me play some other music. What's, what's Let's... happening? <laughs> <laughs> so, you notice something. Willow has a gigantic backpack on. It comes fitted with her armor. It's seen, it, it almost like fits back into a large circular shape. Uh, and it has rested on her back uh, less a little bit. Now it unfolds immediately in front of you and touches down. Kerchung. <gasps> All right, get in. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> All right, we're going bounce mode, so. Uh... <laughs> Cover your head. Basil, hold the fuck on. The beetle immediately starts. Boom, 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 boom. And it flies over the center of the room as everyone lets out gasps and cheers as Willow, your your beetle bears its way down the entire hallway. As <laughs> you hear a yell from behind. You you traverse the city. You traverse the city at a rapid rate. Hold on, let me. Let me move you over here. <laughs> Bounce mode assembled. Uh, the drones struggle to keep up with you as you work your way down the god's arm, bouncing from side to side, and then the wings begin to catch and you flutter, barely maintaining a glide through the air as you move through over a crowd of people. Basil, what is your current emotion? Willow, I think we should hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, we're friends. Yeah, next time I'm uh, chasing mice in the hallway, I will not do that and I'll hang out with you. Wait, you chase mice in the hallway? <laughs> Sometimes I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> you arrive. For too long. Uh, let me throw you back on the Undercity. You arrive. The beetle clanging to its, uh, clanging to a stop in the middle of the street, back in the area where you found Melly in the first place. All right. Uh, do you remember which house it was? Nope, but I can <laughs> sniff her out. Yeah, you should do that. I'll, I'll uh, keep a lookout. Nose. Okay. Give me a, give me a roll to do. You get to roll twice, Basilisk. There we oh. go. <laughs> yeah. You know it's over there. Okay, follow me. I've got her scent. All right. It's I don't think she'll appreciate me putting another hole through her wall, so I'm going to park the beetle. <laughs> <laughs> you park and retract the beetle. We could just go through the old holes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess you're right. You... Hold on. Give Isn't that what a second. door is anyway? Just an old hole? Uh, do me a favor, Basil, roll me 1d4. Okay. 
three. Okay. Which okay. freak are we going to see by the dumpster? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Is oh. it that one? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, this ain't, this ain't bad. Okay. Oh. You. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. You see two people walking down the the sidewalk as, again, you encounter the same guy in the same place. Oh, <laughs> you guys again. What was that machine you were riding earlier? Oh, that's my that's my beetle car. Oh, cool. Hmm. Well, Do you over. only stay here? He, uh, he, like, looks back. I run the bathhouse, so, yeah. No, I'm taking my little brother out for his recital. He sort of bounces on his feet a little while ways back. Hey! Oh. He, like, moves in. Nice to meet ya. Um, my name's Cole. Uh, you're Willow and Basil, right? Oh, hey, little guy. Hey! You got the beetle, right? Yeah, Did I give that to you? I saw them working on it. I'm so jealous. Well, I can take you on a ride on, ride on it a couple times. Whoa, serious? Yeah, if, uh, if your big yeah. brother lets me. Uh... <laughs> One condition. Uh, yeah, yeah. What? 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 I get to try it out first to see if it's safe. <laughs> He's <laughs> barely holding back a laugh. <laughs> Basil is uh is more caught up on the fact that you just keep on introducing Lube Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many of them are you? <laughs> how many of them are you? Uh, uh, what do you mean? You you have a lot of brothers, do you uh -huh. not? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, well, I'm the youngest, Luke's the middle child, and uh, Colt's the oldest. Yeah. Wow. Two brothers. <laughs> Which one gets in the most trouble? Uh, <laughs> it's Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. He finds trouble for himself. Hey, I just thanks. learned where brothers come from, so oh, congratulations nice. to your parents. I... Oh, pass the word along. <laughs> he sort of smiles. Just thanks for keeping an eye on him. Come on, Cole. Let's go. He picks up Cole and, like, fits him under an arm and starts walking. <laughs> Have fun at <laughs> he, your recital. He, like, thanks! He yells, uh, Colt salutes. We're gonna take you up on that beetle offer. <laughs> Man, I really gotta meet Luke. <laughs> He's kind of sad. You probably really? be good for him. I only saw him that one time. He just he just looked like a he kinda of reminded me of Ace a little bit. Every time I see him, he cries into a cup. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is he just sad on the inside? And on the outside. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're following me. Yeah, I'm I'm kinda of following you and you're following me and Oh, there's the door. This is the door. But should you we move. go through the door? Or will she expect the door? <laughs> kick open the door dramatically. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to kick or should I? I'll kick. Okay. Locking the red. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you throw the door open. Opia, open up. <laughs> this is this is how Melly shoots you. <laughs> <laughs> you throw open the door into the tiny little cafe. Then, let's see. What's going on elsewhere? Everybody else here walking over to the gym? Yeah. Okay. No. Let me move you over there. You Kill too. Basil. <laughs> Basil. This imposter gone. among us. Okay. Aura has moved on with his life. Let me <laughs> drop an ace. He has crushed everything that needs must be crushed. Uh, Ace, Argos, Riddle. I think Argos has stopped the stream now. Oh, Not he's him. chilling. Doctor Time is over, right? Doctor, yeah. yeah, Doctor Time's over. You're good. You can relax now. Oh, uh, what's wrong? Didn't want that fan service hard enough. Hold on, I'm sorry. That drink, that stream sucked. You just cut to a bunch of ads and then shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was Ace's fault. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you, sort of... Everyone at home got some, like, <laughs> secret medical info <laughs> about all sorts of people. Yeah. They're they happy. got to see they got to see at least two live surgeries and that's that's cool and horrifying that we're televising this. Yeah. This isn't television. You can get away with this on television. <laughs> I, where is everybody? We we're late to training, so hopefully they won't be mad or anything. Oh. I don't think they would. Maybe, maybe it's closed. <laughs> maybe it's No, this is open 24/7. Yeah, you can always go to the gym. Uh, and then you feel uh, you feel a pressure on your back as someone has thrown an arm around the two of you out front. Huh? Closed. Everybody's run off? Nah, no way. Hey! Hey, <laughs> Seder! Yeah! Huh. He's, like, looking at you. Hmm. He's thinking really deeply. Yo, mm -hmm. Ace. Yeah? You're looking mighty hydrated. <laughs> you too. Why don't we go for a sweat? A sweat? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, uh, I, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna try nice. to jokingly drag Argos along, but, you know, the joke's <laughs> over. Yeah, chance to catch up between two buddies, sweating all our problems away. Uh, you two are invited too, by the way. Uh, Riddle looks back over to you, Argos. You want to sweat? You want to sweat? You want to sweat? I want nothing to do with any of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your answer. Uh, yeah, no, um, I should probably get going. Have, I, enjoy, enjoy your sweat. Uh, you, wait, you don't want to exercise or anything while you're here? Talk to someone absolutely, who's here? Absolutely, absolutely not. No. I think, or, <laughs> I think, I, I think you hear some crushing noises coming off in like a certain direction. I'm gonna, yeah, I, that's not my problem. I don't work here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she like waves. I'm like, leans back to Argus. It's like, thanks for the help today. I am gonna, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> you, I you need, I'm fired. <laughs> yeah, you, you need me to bail you out? <laughs> uh, I think I could just bail myself out. Oh, like, cool. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh two start to, you two start to fuck off, and over here, <laughs> let me... Hold on. I'm moving you two to the fucking sauna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fan service. Yeah. Yeah, oh, man, what Argos could have had. What Argos could have <laughs> fucking had. Seder, like, sitting across the way, like... Yeah? So I want to register something. Who sat down first between the two of us? I think we sat down around the same time. Yeah, so it's neither of our fault that we're awkwardly staring across the entire sauna at each other, right? <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it be more awkward if we were just single, like, in our towels next to each other directly? Huh. Seder <laughs> <laughs> sits closer. So, how are things going on your end? Ah... Uh going good uh i had uh doctors look at me and uh tell me that i'm fucked up but yeah uh, i could have told you that for free i could have told myself that for free honestly yeah you're a fucked up little guy i mean same to you darn straight <laughs> 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 that was a real shame i don't know why argos doesn't want to come in here and sweat with us uh, i get why have... riddle doesn't i don't think he has enough water to sweat wow we should work on hydrating him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has a sponsor for that. No, seriously, though. Things going yeah. okay on the front? Uh, about as well as they could go. I mean, no one's died yet, so... That's good. You know, guys is making some pretty big moves to uh, make sure that you guys aren't a problem, right? Oh, well, then we're making pretty big moves to make us a problem, then. Yeah, they noticed. Yeah, you probably know that we're gonna try to uh, become more independent after showing a little bit more results. Yeah, sort of like things back. I think it's a good move. Hmm. Best part about this sauna. Absolutely no cameras, wiretaps, or anything, because it'd be weird. <laughs> you think that's Stop Geist? Uh, sometimes, yeah. They've got their own weird rules. They stick to them. They've gotta. 
Yeah, it's fair. Hmm. Uh, Some smiles. Yeah. So. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Before you get any deeper in this, figured I'd at least float the offer. You want to get out? I can't get out yet. Hmm. He shakes his head. Why is that? Gotta find my sister. Obviously. Ah, everybody around here is the reliable sort. You really think you're adding to the odds? Mmm. If I didn't do it myself, I'd hear bitching. That really it? The only reason you're here? Just because you'd hear the complaining? I... Everyone here is reliable, but at the end of the day, the only person you can really fully rely on is kind of yourself. Hmm. You live like that? I mean... I'm the only one keeping myself alive, for the most part. Huh. Well, I'm hoping someday you find someone like that. <laughs> nah, nah, that, that kind of person would be too good for me. He shakes his head and he's like, yeah, that's why it's worth it. Because it makes you feel like a true wretch. <laughs> <laughs> he beams. God, God, you're awful. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, but you ever change your mind? You want to run away from any everything? I got your back. Yeah. Look, at the end of the day, if I decided to just quit Opia, uh, I could just disappear, go somewhere, leave. I mean, with my reflection, it's not like a lot of things can stop me. <laughs> uh... You count on the skeleton ring that much? I mean... Uh... It's this weird kind of thing where... Uh... I have a certain set of ideals... A certain way I operate my life, and... Sadly, this ring mirrors it one-to-one. -one. Mm. You wanna so, test that out? What do you mean? That whole... No one could really stop you if you decided to disappear, thing. I mean, you want to test it out? What, you're saying you're going to stop me? He shrugs. Might not have a choice. I mean, I'm if sure you... you... If you ask nice enough, I wouldn't, of course. But, well, if you're just going to disappear on your own, yeah, I'd stop you. Yeah? Imagine that. My best buddy just goes missing one day. It absolutely ripped my heart in half, man. Mm hmm Yeah. It's... Like I said, it's always complicated. I mean, we, we've talked about it before, just disappearing mm. without a trace at the top. Just kind of... That'd be fun. Be fun. No responsibilities. No people staring at you constantly. Just to free range. Hmm. It sort of stands up. It's like... A Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's test it. He holds yeah. out a hand, and in his fucking, like, just in a towel, Seder holds out both of his palms, and you see something flare to life in either hand, almost from nothingness. One black sword, one white sword materializes. He points at you. Come on, spar me. Uh, in, in the sauna? Yeah, like Enough. I said, you can go all out here, right? I... Not really. Um, it's complicated. Yeah, uh, going oh. all out is, uh... The downside of your reflection? Yeah, it's a downside to a lot of things about me. It's, uh... Huh. Once you go all out, you can't really step back that easy. Well then, give me the best you're able to muster. <laughs> 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 Missing the content? Yeah. I that sounds good. Uh if I I don't know. Wanna bet some stuff on it? Yeah. What do you got? I don't know, what do you want? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's embarrassing. He he stops. You say yours first. You All say right. something. You say something cringeworthy, I'll follow up with the honest truth. Okay. If I win, you tell me how you're able to change so fast. 
deal. And if I win... Uh, he sort of smiles and laughs. Be my friend and mean it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dead ass serious face for a second. <laughs> I, that's fair. A uh, deal. A, a sweaty <laughs> battle in the sauna <laughs> between two two best buds. Nothing more. Nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> Lock in your dice, you're gonna settle this shit off screen. <laughs> uh we we can't get this one past the sensors. <laughs> the straightest thing ever is happening over there, everyone. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see Argos talk to Sophie or something. I don't know. Melly. Yeah, Argos yeah. Argos should talk to Sophie. <laughs> okay. Uh, Argos, where do you go? Where do you go to hide? <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> my room, but that's... <laughs> yeah. I'll, Dude. I'll go... Does oh, my room exist yet? <laughs> uh, technically, but nah. Uh, don't use your room for this. Just pick, like, garden... Pick garden, cafeteria, garden library. Garden is nice. Garden is garden nice. Garden is nice. The outdoors. I I didn't go to the gym, so I'll get some, like some grass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. First of all, uh, Ace and Seder, uh both give me rolls to do immediately. Oh, okay. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! We love to see it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you actually, you you guys do go all out with each other. Uh, oh, out. one point. You love to see it. <laughs> okay. And then? It's all coming out in the sauna. <laughs> Oh boy, hold on. You want to sweat, Argos? You want to sweat, Argos? <laughs> <laughs> Riddle like I refuse to get in the middle of what's about to happen. <laughs> okay. God, if only I invested one singular point in my red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the level ups. Uh, let me... <laughs> Move you over here. Let me play. <clears throat> Argos, you go outside, leaving behind. Uh, you you sensed the faint beginnings of something. It might have been a battle. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? And you're like, nah. <laughs> That's nothing I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and you make your way outdoors, and you sit overlooking the city. Somewhere down there, far below, Will and Basil immediately enter Melly's place. But for you, you're you're looking out over it, and someone immediately pops into vision next to you. Hey, uh, mind if I interrupt? Oh yeah, this is actually great timing. <sighs> yeah, I've been keeping an eye on you all day, waiting for a chance. Uh... Oh, sorry, things took so long. Um, it's 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 being fine. A doctor's hard. Mm. She, like, nods. Well, I was hoping to get your advice on something. Yeah, what's up? So, you know, like, my name's Sophie, and I look like this, obviously. I, yeah. I'm i based on a pre-existing fictional character, but I'm also my own person, and I was handed a script on how I could best embody that fictional character, and I told I could keep some of it and throw the rest away, and I've thrown a lot of it away, I think. Uh, I don't think the original, the actual fictional Sophie is really like me anymore. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You're your own person. Yeah, so um, I guess I was hoping to maybe bounce some ideas off of you. Okay, about what, exactly? So, the situation's a little complicated. Or is a huge fan of Sophie the character. And, um, every time he sees me, he goes through, like, six different stages of emotions. I think he wants to treat me like I'm my own person, but he doesn't know how to... doesn't know how to do that, and things are just really awkward between the two of us. 
Hmm. She like fidgets I... and move forward. He's associating you with someone Her. you look like, basically. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really like it that much, and um, my developmental partner was not the best at giving me advice here. Um, she like looks over to you. Riddle can be kind of intense sometimes. Uh, almost creating a perfect duplicate of Riddle hologram next to her. Oh, uh, first of all, don't let Aura inform your identity at all. If he's causing you problems, I'll get him. Uh, he won't be a problem for long. Your identity exists for you first and foremost. If other people, or even this organization, don't accommodate for them, I'll, um, I'll deal with it. Just let me know. I'll deal with it. Yeah, she was mm. a lot. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem like something someone else can really deal with. <laughs> she nods. I just, I want to be able to figure out who I am, and I don't want Riddle to potentially kick down Aura's door and tell him, stop forcing Sophie to feel like she has to change, because I think that's what she was about to do. Right. Hmm. No, so, I, you're right. I get where Riddle is coming from. I agree with her base sentiment that your identity exists for you, and that it's his it's his issue that you are having to deal with. But as far as going in and kicking down his door and changing that, mm. I don't think that's possible. Yeah. Also, it's something I was thinking about already. I I don't want my identity to become about Aura, one direction or the other. I do want it to be about me. And if it turns into a whole protracted thing and he feels like he has to apologize, and it'll become really awkward and that's all I'll be able to think about instead of making this about me, which is what I want. Hmm. You know... I've got to admit, I'm not so good at these types of social things, but I can at least understand the problem you're having. Oh, yeah, agree to disagree on that front also. <laughs> she, like, mumbles, kicking her feet. Mm -hmm. Is this something that happens daily? Uh, she shakes her head. Well, me thinking about who I am, yeah, constantly. I kind of wonder who I want to be. I wonder if I want to be Sophie or if I want to be someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, it sounds like... Yeah, this is something that's bothering you and important to you, and that's why it seems like Aura has, a, uh, has an influence on it because yeah. you yourself aren't sure. So She's anyone, anyone who has some sort of idea about who you are or who they think you are is going to really have an effect on you, isn't it? She nods. So, so I wanted to ask for really, your help. Yeah, it's not really an aura thing. It's if you... It's that you are really searching anywhere for for some answers or to try and figure this out for yourself. Mm. She nods. Mm. And she's gonna she's gonna roll a dice. Okay. Uh, so I was hoping maybe on if you're willing to spend your next day off with me, theoretically, would you be okay if we, like, walked around the city and I just tried stuff out, tried different identities, names, pronouns, just tried stuff? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Nice. You don't really she know relaxes. what it's going to feel until you try it, I guess. Y yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks, Argus. Her entire expression lights up. Mike whispers in your ear. She was worried about doing this literally all day. 
<laughs> she's, she's so happy. <laughs> That's no problem. It'll be good to hang out, too. Yeah. No, it's been a while, actually. Yeah. We've been really busy. It's, yeah, kinda, it's kind of nice like, to have quiet moments like these. Yeah. And then the alarm goes off. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I am so sorry. You can cut no fucking break. The alarm goes off immediately. Just this repeated blaring noise. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> that was such a nice, sweet scene. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Me leaping into the air. Uh, meanwhile. <laughs> you two are like you two have like moved around the room and uh Sater's like Sater like wipes sweat from his brow damn you're pretty good <laughs> yeah I mean so who would have thought me being able to defend a guy with two reflections that's crazy huh wait so you know about the second one no uh, wait you have two uh -huh. swords wait wait no the two swords are one reflection <laughs> Holy shit, did I just leak the fact that I have two reflections? <laughs> <laughs> Damn steam room. Making me leak not only all of my sweat, but all my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I... Hold on, I think your pants are screaming. Pants? Yeah. He, like, oh, throws God. open the door. He's like... Ah, oh, it's so fucking cold. Oh my oh, god. god, they gotta they, oh, they gotta fix that shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's, uh, okay. Yeah, so, let's let's get dressed. Let's get dressed. Okay. You're not uh, off the pants. You're not off the hook, Galatine, and you've got a you owe me for that leak. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll sweat it out some other time. Yeah, we'll sweat it out, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna dip before anyone says something annoying to me. He, he falls into his shadow and vanishes. God, I wish I could do that. <laughs> you pop up in the comms, and then on the far side of town. Let me grab this one. Do. You find your way into Melly's bar. Well, cafe. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, where is the lady? Well, I smell her in here. So she's got to be in here. Well, this is where she lives, doesn't she? You'll, you'll smell her all the time here. Oh, that's a good point. You might stink like her here. <laughs> Why don't you try distance. calling to her? <laughs> Melly? Hello? You let out a call and you hear a thump in the back and she's like, Oh, hi! Hey. <laughs> she, she realizes who it is. Hey, uh, you too. Uh, can I help you? You want to grab a booth or something? No, we're here to help you. Yes, uh, we're, okay. we're going to help you. Uh, with, with what? Well, you, I don't know, you just, I don't know how to say it, but. You've been lying to yourself and lying is bad. <laughs> exactly. You've been lying to yourself. Those eyes tell me that you're tired and you don't uh, want to, don't want to do this, this half measures thing anymore. Yeah, I can get by on you lying to me, but lying to yourself, then who can you trust? <laughs> she like moves forward. Half measures? What, what do you mean? You, you said that you want you settle for just you know a life of acting or dancing or whatever, but I saw it in your eyes when you when you pulled out the reflection. I thought you could be something more. Well, give me a roll to die and then a roll to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm gonna lock in my my actual my my clear. Your clear dice. Oh, let me make sure that it is the proper. Hold on, let me let me get you let me get you a correct willow. I believe this should be Big. one that has that has the clear dice. Yes. Oh, there yeah, we go. there we go. We I'm love to roll see to do. You roll to do, and Melly, Melly, <laughs> she's going to 
Ooh, yeah, she's taking that. She's taking that red. <clears throat> uh, ooh, yeah, no. Ooh, she's taking an orange. Um, she like sparks up immediately and is like, I. Listen, the acting, performing thing, it's safer, I guess. She, you, like, it rings incredibly hollow. Uh, she's gonna try to push back, though. Look, I appreciate you guys coming down here for me. I really do, but you guys are, like, superstars and stuff. I'm still working my way up from the bottom. Uh, give me a roll to die, Willow, and then you are going to get an orange stat. All right. Uh, Your clear becomes an orange. Let I'll I'll adjust it for you. Let me enable, disable. There you go. <clears throat> and her words bounce off of you. You can tell she's lying and sort of poorly. All right. Here's what Willow's gonna do. Let me yeah. roll to do. <laughs> Willow <coughs> is going to headbutt Melly. <laughs> <laughs> Basil, thunk! You just watch as Melly like, ah, d d oh, what the, what the hell? I'm starting to understand conversation better. <laughs> Do you hear yourself? I. You don't uh, even believe those words. Uh, she, I. What was that? She headbutts you back. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Willow, clash with me. Lock in your orange dice and clash with me as your clear is now an orange. <laughs> All right. How do I do the... D do a roll to die. All right. And then lock in your orange. And then roll to do. <laughs> Fuck! She tries to headbutt you right back, but you remain resolute. Tell me how you deflect her headbutt or otherwise withstand it. <laughs> Willow stances up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what, what the hell is your head made out of? Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> she like looks around and is like, hey, you want some too? She looks over at Basil. Um, yeah, she headbutts her. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll to do. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, they clash! Kathunk! <laughs> you hit Bud Melly as well! She <laughs> What 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 are you made of? I don't know. <laughs> but I <sighs> what seems to be the problem? Why are you trying to be safe? I she like And be honest <clears throat> with me, I can smell it when you lie. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. I just, I wanted to check something here really, really bad. She like, she scowls at the two of you, but I didn't exactly have the courage to hit the button. I, she like looks down and she pulls out actually an old style cell phone. Oh. Uh, it's, it's been, it's, it's been apparently, it's been apparently exploding for the last day or two. And I don't exactly know how to respond to this. I just endangered my life live on stream. I don't know what they're saying to me. It's, I, she like, sort of sags. She's like, I don't know what to do about it. Your phone? Yeah. Let What's me see. You? Let's look at it. <laughs> she hands the phone over and like it peeks over your shoulder. Uh, okay, yeah, that's my dad. Uh, kid down you the street. Yeah, I two dads actually. Uh, then... Whoa, I have none. <laughs> she like she keeps peeking over your shoulder as you go through Melly's list of contacts, and you notice that like down the way, pretty much every single like line. Piece, piece to piece is a message back from Melly's homeland, back from the Silt Islands. And they're all like, Melly, that was incredible. Were you alive on TV? And you got, we got a first person perspective of you being blown up by a rocket launcher. <laughs> Melly, that's amazing. <laughs> well, I, I don't understand. What's the problem? I, what do you mean? What's the problem? What do you, what I don't, isn't this what you wanted? She like looks down and like pokes at it. She just don't don't. She uh she she takes the cell phone and like holds it up, looking over. 
they're they're cheering for me because I appeared on anything for the first time in like literal years. This is she sort of like sighs and moves over and just sits down in the chair. Come on! You guys headbutt me, I could barely stand anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, you wrong duo to headbutt. <laughs> she like she fully like uh <laughs> she stands up, she's man spreading across the entire couch. She throws an arm over the back and she's like Okay, so they sent me away a few years ago. All hopes and dreams and all that, and yeah, I haven't appeared in anything for a long time. I get a message every week or so, like, hey, you finally make it big, etc. Never know how to really respond to those messages. Makes a person a little desperate. Hmm. Desperate enough to pick up a reflection. So you didn't want to pick up the reflection? She's quiet. I don't... I don't know. Melly, did you ever have your own dream? Seems like you're always following the dreams of other people. Willow, give me a roll to do! Willow, give me that roll to do! <laughs> <laughs> she's dropping. Dying. She's like, oh, she's, she's, she's about to flare up again. She's like, yeah, I probably did at some point. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She sounds unconvinced as she, she like, she floofs herself up. I just, uh, I don't know. Huh. Does your dream have to be something big and complicated? No. What was it? Pay people back for all the kindness I've been given. That's it. And to do that, you have to sacrifice what you want to do? I think that is what I want to do. Don't really know much else. Well, for what it's worth, and I've been alive for an entire three days, <laughs> but I couldn't imagine living my life for anyone but myself. Or I scan over to Willow. <laughs> Well, if being yourself means paying back all the people who built you up, and that's just you. And to be honest, I don't compromise, not to nobody. So do what makes you happy and follow your dream. You don't want to live a life full of regrets. Give me a roll to do. Get <laughs> her with it, Willow. Yes. <laughs> only only eights. Yeah. Come on. Just going to drop. She goes quiet. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't see any grand scale plan, so I'm going to start with the immediate. She scrambles over and then sits down next to you, Willow, and then leans over, pulls out the phone again. Okay. You guys have to sit and watch while I do this, otherwise I'm going to die. What you going to do? Message him back. Is, when was the last time you messaged them back? Three years ago. Wow. You should call him. Yeah, call him. Don't even messenger back. Put them all in a group chat. A text feels impersonal. <sighs> These are your dad you're talking about. Don't don't put on the, the, the <laughs> don't put on the TV face. Put on your real face. Yeah. She she don't lie. Fine. <laughs> fine. 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 <laughs> Uh, everybody give me a roll to die and then a roll to do. Melly is fucking ripped. She's... Today she's decided. Yeah, sure. Oh. Thank you, help me. Thank you, That's God. <laughs> fucking Jesus <Help> Christ. <laughs> okay. So. Melly picks up the phone and is like, okay. Uh, God, I hope I get an answering machine. She sort of picks up the line and, uh, so. The call goes out after a, a few seconds, then eventually clicks on to the other side. She's like, hey, dad, um, 
Just wanted to say I'm still okay. And then you hear a resonant call from the other side. Just a lot of animate noise. And she's like, hey, hey, come the hell down. Back away from the phone. I can't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good to see you too. <laughs> she like places her back to the table. And is like, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, technically speaking, it's not idle work. Like, you saw me get blown up by a rocket launcher. <laughs> There's... The conversation continues on for a bit, and then Melly goes quiet. <laughs> she goes really, really quiet as they continue to talk, and then another voice chimes in. Significantly younger, then another one. More feminine sounding, then another, and then another, and then another. Melly puts down the phone and places the back of her head against the table. Her eyes are empty, but she sort of stares up the ceiling. Huh. Huh. How's it feel to get a weight off your shoulder? Huh. Uh, confusing. I... I gotta confirm something really quick. She picks up the phone and is like... Continues to converse really intently. Then puts it down again and lets out a long, sort of ugly laugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh, shit. It was Some... okay. She, like, looks over at the two of you. Something occurs to me. I have no idea what I do over here. Probably sleep so. and eat food. Yeah. Moves That's over, what I would do. Cradling the phone in her hands, sits down. And no idea about the idol. I don't think they know what an idol is. Huh. Huh. What do they think you do over there? Uh, My definition isn't an idol, just somebody that people can look up to. Definitionally speaking, I guess. It's just. I thought so then you weren't really, lying to them. I thought they were really big into the singing and dancing thing. Huh. You think I can squeak by just getting shot in the face by rocket launchers for fun on live TV? That's what we do. Yeah. And. You'll be the one, you know, taking the hits, but also throwing the punches, too. That yeah. is, if it's what you want to do. She, like, picks it up and is like, Yeah, yeah, Dad, no, I'm a big idol superstar. Didn't you see me? I'm the one out front, taking all the hits. Did you see me, like, boss around that movie star? Yeah, really impressive stuff, huh? <laughs> Ace probably would have died if you weren't there. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, I'm fine. And you guys were friends, right? She goes quiet. Sort of grasp the phone. Yeah. So, yeah, I, um, got my big break. Clicks the phone shut, puts it down. Whew. What's, uh, living for yourself look like? Just follow me. I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> three days. Longest three days of my life. Longer than I have, so deal. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, looks over to Willow. Thanks. You're welcome. I always want to help out. And I don't know. You look like the person who's crying the loudest. Oh. <laughs> you, look at, you look at our expression and... Basil, give me two rolls to do. Okay. Objectively speaking, Willow is correct. <laughs> <laughs> and then the alarm goes off. <laughs> you you feel the chime as as all at once your hollow pads begin to display that there is an emergency in progress. What is Co this? <laughs> Melly hops over your shoulder and is just like, uh, here, let me, let me see this, uh, code and infection in progress, uh, so, you guys, you guys gotta go, huh? Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you state grabbing Melly? Okay, <laughs> and now, the moment of... <clears throat> Opia deploys from all around the city. I am putting you to the mission select scene. This will be a rather short encounter. 
Your job will be to contain the spread of the coda in all of its forms. In this case, it seems like there is a code in infection. Your very first. Here's your mission select screen. <clears throat> I am going to copy the four players, as you cannot escape this fate. You cannot escape from crossing fate. <laughs> from crossing yeah. fate. You are able to bring along one NPC in your primary party and two auxiliaries. The auxiliaries will perform important tasks such as making sure that civilians make it to safety, evacuating the area, etc., etc. Uh Melly will be and this is this is why we got a slot here I'm starting to realize. Uh Melly will be interjecting herself whether you like it or not. <laughs> in this blank slot right we here. We like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm taking Melly with me. <laughs> uh next I want you to decide who takes this and who will be your backups. Uh, I don't know. Any suggestions? I don't know. Strategist. I fucking yeah. There's this Put is Luke in the auxiliary. I was thinking, I dude, yeah. I want Luke in the primary so fucking hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We yeah, talked like, about that. I, look, about look, look, I, I, look. We're putting Luke there. Any, any objections? Any, anyone is like. Nope. Um, anyone, anyone <laughs> want, do, you, do you want anyone else? Nope. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> hey, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Who are your two auxiliaries? I want a riddle. Okay, riddle in the auxiliary. Okay. And yeah. who oh. is your? Oh, 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 oh! Excellent. Yes. We, we yes. have not seen her. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So here's your squad. These two will primarily be in charge of making sure that nothing goes atrociously wrong. The situation is laid out in front of you. It seems like someone who was passing through the abandoned area came down spontaneously with a codon infection. They have been driving faster and faster along the freeway, and you are expected to be getting into a car chase with them. Wow. Can Configure your team to be able to deal with a high-speed threat. I mean, okay, Luke drives, chaotic. right? Luke, Luke doesn't. Drives Luke drives the ambulance. Oh. Uh, okay. How many people can my bug hold? Uh, your bug can hold two people. The rest of you will be expected to take an Opia vehicle. You have two choices in Opia vehicle. Uh, or, sorry, three choices in Opia vehicle. Uh, Seder will, because you are bond one with Seder, lend you the Seder mobile if you want to take his car. No, that's oh a good my call. god. You can alternatively take Riddle's van or twice his tank. <laughs> <laughs> the tank is slow, but very safe. The van is faster, but is best handled by, well, I guess Lou Griddle Aurora. And then the Seder Mobile is the Seder Mobile. And how bad do you feel about trashing Seder's car? It's already trashed. <laughs> uh, Jay, what's chaos at? What was that? What's chaos at? Uh, your chaos is only at a one right now. Okay. So things are pretty stable. So uh, I, here's, here's, I'm going to put forward. I think the van, mostly because. I would love to take the Seder Mobile, but it has a fucking Geist logo on the front, and we're trying to be more independent. Uh, nah, so, I yeah. agree. So yeah, Van sounds okay. Van sounds smart. Let me let me let me give you let me give Kramer you your Van. Just fine. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Van. Who's be on the bug with me. Yeah, who's going on the bug with uh, Willow? I came with you on the bug. All right, I'm taking you with me. Uh, oh, uh, then Melly will position herself tactically. This is going to be great. <laughs> okay. Um, me, me seeing it's Ace like rolling. We got a gorilla stream, everybody. Sorry, <laughs> that last stream kind of sucked. It's Ace <laughs> Gorilla. <laughs> now we're going to make it up for you. Move you over here. Okay. Beetle. There we go. <laughs> so, you two on the beetle, everybody else in the van, let me get everybody situated. Mm -hmm. I will prep, I will prep the mission. If you want to, if you want to put things to BRB for a second, you can while I, while I prep everything. Yeah, there you go. 
Everyone take your final bathroom break, etc. Final bathroom. Final bathroom. Say hi to YouTube, Twitch chat. Twitch chat, say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube, also. Hi, Twitch Hello. chat, also. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, let me... Is hope... Luke... Are you letting Luke drive? Yeah, Luke, yeah, Luke drives. He drives an ambulance. Yeah. yeah. He, he's most qualified to drive. Okay. I hope I got rid of all of Willow's bad rolls. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just throwing them out there. Uh... Argos, you are in the back of the van. Okay. Am I? <laughs> Holy shit! I still can't believe you brought Luke. <laughs> you so like getting the car? You're getting the car, Luke. Uh, Riddle and List will be on standby nearby. That's three of you. And then three of you remain, or. Oh, yeah, you too, plus Beetle. I'm so sorry, Melly. I would have taken you, but we <laughs> have no space. No, Melly's <laughs> Melly's got a plan. She's probably going to steal a car. <laughs> she he has a big criminal like energy. Uh, let me grab Basil. And Willow on the Beetle. There is going to also be a complication that you're going to see almost immediately. I hope so. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, Brennan. Uh, <laughs> it's, oh, no. it's Luke's family just <laughs> uh, in danger. The recital, oh, no. no. <laughs> the recital! We have to get him to his recital. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Let me know when everybody's back and everybody's good. Yeah. I'm back and good. Back and good? I'm back and good. Excellent. I'm good and back. Excellent. I'm okay. Back. Then, <laughs> I will fill you all in on, on the situation. We will be using two initiative orders for this. Specifically, it is going to hop between Car and Beetle, who goes first. And then from there, you will determine who within goes. You will do your three, and then you'll move to the other vehicle. Yeah. And, and the other vehicle will have to go in a block between one of your two, or will need to go as its own entry on initiative. So if you look at the situation, you three are down here. Yeah. You two are up here, flying in, and your target is in the car with Basilisk Id decals on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. The various drones struggle to keep up. Okay, so your drivers uh, should all roll to die now. So Willow and, yep. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. uh, Willow gets to go first. All right. Um, I'm just going to fly towards them. Okay. Give me a give me a roll to if you want to fly normal you can simply progress if you want to pull a sick trick to close the distance you may also do so but that will require a roll to do. Hmm, what sick trick can I do? Basically, you got any ideas? Drift. Drift? Or, <laughs> we're, drifting, we're drifting on this rooftop. Yeah! Give me a roll to do. All right, I'm beat a ten. I'm locking in red. Boom! Oh! High passes you! You you leap from the ground. You and Basil having given a motivational speech and you're like, hell yeah, I'm ready for this. As you drifted across the roof, you hear everyone inside react in shock as you boing, land immediately on the road. You can see the car. It's just ahead of you. Oh, can I? <laughs> Basil? How do you react to this vehicle? <laughs> Is it my turn? <laughs> yeah, of yes. course. <laughs> uh, I summon my reflection and jump off. <laughs> oh, no. Give me a roll to do. You will need to defeat the defense of the game. You attach. You fucking attach. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, Basil attaches to the car. Back here. Luke's like, I'm going to get us closer. Yeah, that sounds good. 
He drives forward. It's like, by the way, I really appreciate you guys bringing me along for the mission. He's going to roll to weave between these two cars. He does so! Car he drifts boy. the van and brings it up like this. You see off in the distance, the two of you. You see Willow touch down on the beetle immediately in front, and then in front of that, you see Basil attached to the car, bearing her own face. Luke, that's not good, is it? I mean, it's good for us. Not for them. For oh, <laughs> maybe also not good for the civilians that are surrounding us on all sides. That's it. Uh, they'll, they'll move out of the way. They'll, of course. Uh, the two of the two of <laughs> you. Like have a horn or a <laughs> siren. <laughs> I. We should probably get one of those installed, shouldn't we? <laughs> I, it's, it, it's fine. Just uh, Ace is just gonna go, hang his head out of the window and just yell, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Wee woo. Just, no, just tell people to get out of the way and that there's like fast moving vehicles and demon shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> you yell, give me a roll to do to project uh, your voice. Roll to do? I. Yep. Wait, uh, we roll to die at the start of act, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. you get to roll to die first, should yeah, yeah. you so wish. Uh, Lux in yellow, and then I'm gonna roll to do. Yeah. Uh, so these cars will actually slow down and sort of like let you pass. Holy shit, as... that ace got a team. Yeah, no, that's literally <laughs> it. You see everyone in the car looking over like, oh my god, is that fucking Ace Galatine? Uh, Argos, what do you do from this position? All right, I'm going to stick my head out the window and scan. Try and Ooh. scan whoever's in this car. Ooh, excellent. Give me a roll to do. Uh, yeah, I suppose I should roll for that, huh? Ooh, excellent. So, you scan the person in the car, and you can tell that this person is barely conscious, and it feels like something... Even from here, you're able to pretty much pick up the signature that is behind the steering wheel. You're able to pick up that the person is holding on to the steering wheel almost against their will. Their grip is tightened to the point that they can't unfasten it, and... Some part of them is freaking the hell out right now. They're just as scared as, well, everyone else seems to be in this situation. <laughs> Not Basil. <laughs> yeah, she's doing okay. <laughs> and then, she leaped onto a moving vehicle. Uh, I am going Why to you mark that with it. With some with tactics. some Argos tactics right now. Yes. Okay, that will count for him i'll also put one on the car the car the car in case you want to do something involving the car okay uh on his turn you advance down the highway you realize there's only so much time before hmm, argos you can pick it up it seems like the code and infection is spreading through this person He's trying to hit a population center and then spread it en masse. You've probably only got another two turns in order to resolve this. Like, so. calculate how many turns I have to resolve this. <laughs> it's it's two. It's two, by the way. It's two. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, next up, uh, Willow and Lug, both of you roll to die. Ooh, Willow again. You get to go first. All right, I'm about to do some real stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, man. Okay. I will need two turns to set this up, actually. Ooh, excellent. <laughs> so the what Willow's going to do is she's going to fly the beetle and and stab it straight like behind this vehicle. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Connecting to the vehicle. Oh, excellent! Give me a roll to do to stab the car. Yeah. And you fly forward and slam! And remember, you can ignite to do extra things sometimes. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. like, what do you, what, uh, like, if what I do can you ignite do? to do extra things, then yeah. Willow's gonna be like, oh man, I really like these shoes. And she's gonna <laughs> <laughs> hop off the back and enter a immovable stance. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> you stance the fuck up! Give me another roll to do. Boom! 
boom! You lock in place and the car starts to uh, screech and wire as you are yanked forward. You get into a tug of war with the car. Basil, it's your go. Yeah, don't forget to click ignite. Yeah, no, oh, click yeah. ignite. Yeah. Uh, where's ignite? Oh, there we go. Yeah, they'll lock you out of your stat and drop it for you. So, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Has, uh, has Willow stopped the car? No, it is basically like Willow hit the ground and it lurched backwards. The car is creaking. It's still moving forwards. It's slowing down like fucking crazy, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Basil is going to uh, lizard crawl to the side of this car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then she's going to kind of gripping the car with both of her hands and feet. She's going to swing her head so that the axe goes directly into the cement to stop it. Oh boy, give me a roll to do. Boom! You two managed to make the car lose visible momentum. It looks like they it looks like they probably won't be able to reach that population center that they wanted to. Turn flicks over back to the van back here. Luke, like, I'll bring us closer again. It's all I can really do in this situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and God does he. He floors it pedal to the metal. Wow. The car screeching as he quickly darts to the side, coming up alongside this. Uh, your go. Ace or Argos? Who wants to go first? You can go, Argos. Pull over! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna form a a hard light SMG and shoot at those tires a bit. Oh excellent. Okay. Give me a roll to do. Yes, I will. Oh my god! Okay. Curse screech into a halt. Uh <clears throat> Ace, what is your go? So has the car stopped yet, or is it just... It is next next turn I'm going to calculate if it's stopped. Okay. Uh, so During what, its turn, uh, What Ace is going to do is just swing up out of the back of the van on top of the van now. Uh, and he's just going to uh, just uh, leap over onto the hood of the car, right? Yeah. And uh, what he's going to do is uh, probably try to... Uh, he's just going to position there and wait for the car to stop, getting ready to... Uh, at least try to drag this person out of the car. Ooh, nice. Okay. Once it stopped. Uh, okay. In that case, you will give you you will give me a roll to do once it finally stops. Yeah. yeah. And you go. Let me roll for it. Uh. 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 Mm -mm -mm. One, two, three, four. Okay. Wow. So it screeches fighting back against you guys as you managed to nearly halt its momentum entirely. And then, of course, you see the moment that someone has foolishly thrown herself onto the road in front of everyone. Reflection held high, she places it in front of herself like a shield wall as you just drive forwards and bonk! Bang <laughs> <laughs> against Melly Luxity! Uh, she will roll versus that. Fucked up and bump. she is Kuchunk! She bounces into the air as the car skids and drives itself forwards. She wasn't able to hold its momentum entirely. And then Willow sets her feet in it. <laughs> Slams against the ground with the heave. Ace give me a roll to do. And Ace, oh, okay. Uh roll to do. There we go. Ooh! You dive on the man and drag him free of the car. That's good. You managed to wrench him apart. Uh, you, you managed to wrench him apart from this. Start of the next act. You feel Argos. You sense it. You see it immediately spreading throughout his body. Whatever he's about to do, it's it's going to be another one of those coded events. You all are going straight to hell if this thing completes. You feel it burning and bubbling inside of him. Argos, you will get a chance to act first this act and choose... Who goes next? At the end of the next act, this thing's going supernova and everybody's going to the coda. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, it, did Melly get hurt by that? Melly's like, bouncing in the car? air and she lands and she's like, she writes herself and she gives you a thumbs up. She is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'm going to hop out of the car 
form a uh, mm-hmm. hard light. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, bat. <laughs> and yeah. and smack this guy for non lethal damage. <laughs> <laughs> Argos, roll up and give me a roll to do. <laughs> Can I actually roll to die? Oh yeah, of course. Or is that time passed? No, you are you are you are allowed at the start of every act to roll to die. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, this is gonna be funny. Bit. <laughs> Whack! You you hit the guy in the side of the head with your hard light bat. It seems to do nothing. It just it resounds off of him and his head lulls to the side. And then you can see. You can see that this isn't stopping it. Something else has to be done. Who goes next? Alright. Well, I'm also gonna cash in my tactic. Ooh! Ooh. To, uh, okay. To uh mark him with drained. Ooh. Ooh, very good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So, you feel like you whack him on the side of the head, and you're like, huh, that didn't do much. And then you create a vulnerability that will weaken his next effort. Who next, Argos? Um, I mean, how about Willow? Oh, fuck. All right, I'm so <laughs> yeah. far away. Um, okay. Uh, do I roll to die? You can roll to die at the start of an act to, to basically get a new swing if you so wish, yes. Yeah, so you can unlock that, bitch. yeah. Shut up, chat! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> what is chat saying? Hashtag mage build! Hashtag mage build! Yeah, and if, you, and if you click the L tiny, no. that will unlock your red for the next time you roll. Yes. So. Okay. Um, yeah. So how do I... How can we stop this uh, code, code in so, uh, reaction? So, uh... Basically, remember uh, the coffin situation? Mm-hmm. Right? So if we stop the source... Yeah, potentially, yeah. Yeah, kill him. That's what <laughs> okay. your understanding would, it, uh, would be, basically. Jay, can I switch to a different thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, Willow's going to switch and immediately run along this car, jumping up into the air, and I am going to... Uh, peer through the onion, yeah. I'll say. Yeah, peer through and the onion. <laughs> I'm going to rip open a world where uh, Argos actually did not mage build, hashtag mage build, but he actually <laughs> huge ma- muscle mage build and uh, smack the shit out of this man. What did you mean by that sentence? <laughs> what? So, here's how this goes. You sprint your way over and you leap into the air and you reach open and immediately swing your hand searching for some existence or some possible reality in which hashtag mage builds did not occur and instead Argos succeeded in that role. Willow immediately wound one of your dice. The cost of this will be great. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Argos, you feel a distortion ripple through the air around you for a second. And for a moment, you feel like you tap into something else. Give me another roll to do. Okay. (laughs) Boom! (laughs) Argos, you feel like in this moment, it isn't time rewinding. It isn't even, it isn't even some like temporary boost of power. This is very much your strength but pulled from somewhere else. Almost a layer of reality cements itself over you, and you feel strength suffuse your body as you swing with all of the force and power of somebody who did not skip going to the gym. (laughs) As you thunk, and the entire body body of this person ragdolls for a second as you hit the side of his head and ace you remember something yeah on the train riddle mentioned something about the spread of the code and infection when you dragged that person back over to her you knew what controlled it she told you the detonator functionally in this case you are aware of it and as you see this man's eyes sag shut for a moment argos you feel like, at least right now, you've managed to contain this explosion that's about to occur. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> pass it to me. <laughs> uh, pass, it, the turn is past days, so I think that's yeah. an adequate 
that's an adequate call. So what Ace is going to do is probably tear off a piece of his jacket to make yeah. a blindfold for this man and blindfold him. You immediately wrap the man's head in a blindfold. All right. Okay, you, you, you. Uh, weird move, but all right. <laughs> uh, Basil, what happens next? Um, I'm gonna attack the car. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll uh, and, <laughs> and I'm going to ignite so I can attack both here oh. and, and here. And oh, of course. And fortunately, there's people in the way. But, <laughs> but you know, that's a little chaotic. Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, wabba and wabba. <laughs> Bessel, narrate how you decimate this man's car. So, uh, Basil, uh, jumps up and she tosses the axe from her mouth and into her hands. And she does a cartwheel flip, slicing this car in half at the, uh, well, not in half, into thirds, because she's doing it at the center of both of these decals <laughs> and uh, I, I, I guess get out of the way. <laughs> With the crit 20, yeah, you two get out of the way. Okay. Jesus. You dive to the side, Melly catches you, Argos, and the car is obliterated in a moment. Uh, this guy is going to attempt to throw a fit and he's dazed by the bat. And he's been blindfolded, but he's still gonna fucking roll to ruin your day. And then I'm going to roll one. Oh, okay. So hold on, let me penalize it. That is a 19. Argos, Argos, Willow, and Ace all clash. Argos, Willow, Ace, Melly all clash with me. Beat a 19. Yeah, easy, dude. Watch this. 14. <laughs> Killed it. Oh, boy, Willow! <laughs> I'm okay. to do here. Yeah, give me a roll to do. There. There. Damn. Okay, okay, Willow. Tell me how you stop this man from immediately ripping the blindfold off and ruining everything. I got him in a, in a chokehold. <laughs> you drop. You get the man in a chokehold. As hold on, let's see. Luke, you, you here to help? Luke is here to help too. You feel all around you almost a, a tightening cocoon of blossoms. Uh, Willow, it feels like Luke is using his reflection from the front of the van almost to concentrate a large number of flower petals in the area. They bind the man and you together almost like a cocoon. I'm sorry. Uh, unfortunately, this is the best solution I could arrive at. Please, just bear with it for a moment. I'm stuck to the guy. <laughs> you are extremely stuck to the guy. And then you see the line of cars that are hitting the brakes, unable to slow down, bear down on your location. Hold on, let me... Okay, excellent. One by one, they skitter into frame as you watch your little traffic disturbance about to become a fucking traffic disaster as... <laughs> There's silence for a moment. The cars, confused, swerve for a moment uh, and then continue traveling on their way. And yeah, then, we find ourselves on a beach. You know. <laughs> yeah, let's go again. Splash! <laughs> <laughs> Riddle's van. Riddle's fucking van! <laughs> Melly, like, I. <laughs> I didn't exactly know which part of the park to dump. I mean, hi, chat! <laughs> oh my god, it's so good to see you guys again. Welcome back to Meliland. It turns out the force of a car crash is enough to reignite my anima. Isn't that so exciting? <laughs> <laughs> she pulls you with a very powerful arm out of the water. Ace is going to, to fucking drag Willow and this man who are binded together by plant <laughs> vines out of the water. <laughs> Oh, she's going to be so angry with me. 
Oh god. Oh. What? Isn't Ugh. it like f fake, not real? What? Won't it go away if we? Let's find out. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny, Argus. Let's find out together. <laughs> she drags you to shore and dumps you yeah. off. <laughs> we we save the man too with us. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I assume Basil's going fucking nuts in the back. I want to register that uh, your decrease, Argos, actually made that doable since the two people that beat him beat him by one point. <laughs> uh, you huh? both dump. You dump this man on the beach. Luke sits under a tree. <laughs> oh God, Basil, you fucking freak. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I. Am I unstuck? Oh, right, of course. He yeah, unsticks you. Yeah, let me just bind this guy's hands and stuff. Uh, uh, God, they didn't cover this in training. Uh, you, When people are suffering from coat and disease, you blindfold them. Or what? remove their eyes. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yeah, I could have removed his eyes, but I decided to uh, not. Uh, good call, good call. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah you might have to mute the... Or censored a stream for that one <laughs> yeah just uh just keep that in mind i didn't remember i forgot until now but yeah you uh it probably has something to do with perception speaking of stream melly leans in by the way i'm back melly luxity the combat idol she salutes <laughs> here to stay ace in the background like <laughs> That's actually an excellent angle to go for. <laughs> I, I was thinking the singing and the dancing thing didn't really work out super well for me, so at least I can do lots of shielding and lots of violence. People like that. <laughs> she beams into the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Debut stream right here. <laughs> oh, not the time. Thank you for... Uh, keeping us out of the car crash, but uh, we really need to get this guy to a hospital. Oh, yeah, also, um, there's one little problem. I don't know if, when we come back, if we'll be in the middle of that road. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Ace, Ace looks at Willow. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want me to do? Maybe take uh, another, take another quick peek. Yeah, the thing that only you can do. Yeah, the thing that only you can do. Just a quick peek for us, Willow. That really hurts. <laughs> I sh well, right. uh, this man I can is help. dying, Willow. Okay, okay, I'll take a look. All right. Arcos takes out his healing knife. <laughs> I'm going to peer into the into the world. Okay, and uh, let me. change something out here. <laughs> Hold on, this is very important. <laughs> Fucking... There we go, you and... And you. Back in the world. <laughs> Your auxiliaries wait by the wayside. The road flies past a little busy, but it seems like, for the most part, things have calmed down. It seems like a large number of people have stopped a ways back. Oh, it just looks like uh, Riddle and uh, <laughs> Riddle and them are just uh, surprised that we just disappeared in, in, out of thin air. <laughs> I think should... they think we went into Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> Melly, like, should should I send us back? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, as long on. as we're not gonna get hit. Hold on, let me get my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Your backpack is fine. Uh, <laughs> over here. Let me drop you all back in. You all appear in a formation, something like this. Boom. Okay. This reattaches. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> and 
Riddle's like, oh my god, you guys are back. Did you did you defeat the source of the infection? Yeah, How did you uh, get back so easily? Did uh, you, Ace is Ace, holding did you a man. do something again? Ace is holding a man with a fucking blindfold. Oh. Code and Z's. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'll handle that. Um, yeah. Don't worry, we just went to the beach for a little bit. Yeah. A good use of ESP Mel Melly? <laughs> she like hugs Where's... my eyebrow. Uh, where... Uh, quick question, where did... uh? And then you hear a loud kerthong as a waterlogged van just slams into the road a few feet back, and Riddle's like, I... I... It's not my fault. <laughs> and you can always get another one. <laughs> look, when, look, we did such a good job. We can just... When we do the negotiations, maybe we can get just get you a couple upgrades. <laughs> We'll get you a new van. <laughs> Riddle is vibrating at a frequency. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be like when you got me the Beetle, the Beetle uh, car. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Riddle <laughs> continues to visibly shake. <laughs> she shakes with 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 draconic anger as Melly's like, "Hey, like." I think collectively it's probably the two of our faults. I yes, I think it is. But I'm not employed by you guys, so she claps him on the back and is like, "Good luck." <laughs> it, 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 it could be worse. Your car could be uh, what Basil did to that one. That yeah. <laughs> I would never. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Um. Let's well, put your face on it. We're technically your auxiliaries, so we'll handle the transport back to base. If you all want to handle cleanup here, or want us to handle cleanup, we're your backup. So, what are the orders? Um, well, uh, Riddle, you can, uh, Riddle, unless you can take this guy with the code disease back to the hospital. Uh, we can, we can do cleanup here. It's just, uh, three cleanly cut car parts and just some, you know, yeah. minor road damage from Willow's feet. Transportation. Oh yeah, I need new shoes. Walk them back and <laughs> <laughs> Riddle's just grumbling off. I, in the I, I gave you lists so she could carry the man. <laughs> Riddle will help anyway. <laughs> yeah. you, you. She's not cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Melly, like, yo, Lilo, good work back there. Yeah, how was your first mission? Honestly, pretty fun. Oh. Uh, she like, she lets out a, she's like, honestly, pretty fun. And it's this face still, but there's a slight smile at the edge. And then the stream comes across the corner and the smile ex extends to overwhelming. <laughs> and she's just like, I, I love my job. <laughs> you know, you don't gotta, Melly, I'm, you know, yeah? this is probably one reason that you didn't succeed that much in the idol business. You realize people like girls that treat them like shit, right? You giving me advice, Galatine? <laughs> I mean, I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just, you all... Think yeah. about rebranding a little bit. Instead of the smiley sparkle, just, I don't know, be your normal asshole self. <laughs> Oh my god, stream, can you believe he said that to me? <laughs> I can believe he said that. <laughs> I'm gonna exit the situation and pick up these car parts. <laughs> you all... You all... Clean up after work and eventually... Exhausted. Someone invites you over. Oh, hey, Basil. <laughs> only. <laughs> For some reason. Good. Only me. Only Basil. Someone invites you over to have dinner at her place. Who? It's the least she could do after all of the nonsense and, uh, you know, drowning Riddle's car. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the fact that uh, Basil's most hated is going to be on the screen for a second as I copy-paste you. Dearly detested. <laughs> Erased. <laughs> <laughs> Let me you okay and then let me grab a normal 
just a just a normal theme. Drop it a swing. Whoa. Let's do this. Okay, everyone. Uh, thanks again for letting me join your little operation. I was happy to make my debut today, and uh, dinner's on the house. Whatever you want. I, I mean, uh, is a new car on the menu? Uh, whatever mm. I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Whatever you guys want, I'll cook it. I feel uh, kind of bad that <laughs> we made Riddle go back to the hospital. I, uh, look, it's it's yeah, it's. Uh, I can look. We can just contact her. Willow can. Pull up with the beetle and pick her up after. Look, that guy's life comes first before anything, and Rill knows that. Yeah. Mm. If there was anyone else trained more to deal with that situation, I would have sent them. But with Riddle's ESP and Anima, they could handle code and diseases and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's almost like a quarantine kind of situation. So don't worry, I can eat whatever Riddle's having. Just, <laughs> just uh, I'll bring her a doggy bag. Just order or make something that's like a large quantity and we can just like, I don't know, eat a stew or yeah. something. Spaghetti. I, okay, you want spaghetti? Sure. Um, well, come on guys. I'm hosting you out of my place. Pick, pick something. I, I, spaghetti sounds fine. Just, just spaghetti? It sounds really good. A lot one, of spaghetti. One of every spaghetti. One of every spaghetti. I... Of every spaghetti. <laughs> I uh, Everybody yeah. around this the toppings are uh, okay. Everybody around this side of town only wants pizza or spaghetti. You know I have other specialties, right? No spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. The basil has spoken. The basil has spoken. She like looks over to you, Willow. You want you want anything other than spaghetti? Um. Hmm. Do you have uh shrimp fried rice? Yeah. Can do. She stands up and <laughs> as she does, she lightly taps her forehead against yours and just keeps walking. Hmm. <laughs> List leaning in. Oh, what was that? You know. <laughs> <laughs> just a little something between friends. <laughs> so it's like all really happy. You know, oh. you know cats do the same thing, right? Don't make me headbutt you. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's like, well, thank you again for bringing me on the mission. I rather enjoyed my return to the glorious world of driving ambulances. Yeah, yeah. thanks for your driving skill. That was a thing. Yeah. He's but like, I... well, we saved someone's life, so functionally. Same thing as driving an ambulance, right? Yeah. And uh, Ace is just going kind to of, uh, slide in next to Willow. Yeah, and I hope that kind of highlights the kind of missions other than just killing demons to go on. Uh, sometimes people with code and disease will act out like that, and we uh, need to, you know, it's not just a destroy kind of job. It's saving the life behind that kind of thing. In most cases, people are too far gone for us to directly help. We accomplished a real miracle today. <sighs> with a, That's why we're the best. With a bad. Sometimes there's cars that need to be destroyed. <laughs> I, I, fair. I, I'm proud to call you all my colleagues. Headbutts? Um, <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to take it. <laughs> yeah. Time, man door cracks open. You hear a creak as Melly walks in. Giant pot of spaghetti. It's like the size of her upper torso. Okay, everyone. <laughs> I got bowls. Just dip them in. Like, yeah. ladle them out yourself. Hmm. Hazel grabs a handful. <laughs> she yeah. slams it down on the table. Yeah. And well, you yeah. want a shrimp fried rice? Yep. <laughs> Walks back. <laughs> me sweating, resisting saying it. Me. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping someone said it. <laughs> I could get ready to take the shot. <laughs> get the burn reducers. Yeah. Anyways. Thanks, Melly. 
she walks over and slides a gigantic plate of shrimp fried rice in front of Willow exclusively and then hops and lands in the seat and spreads around. Like, she just looms in the back, taking up the entire thing. I guess, uh, I should have said it a little more clearly earlier. Uh, thanks for saving my life. Then what was that? Thanks for saving my life. Excuse me? You mean... <laughs> Don't be Thank mean, you Ace. for saving my life, jackass. <laughs> Are you talking about when we went into the coda or when I was telling you about following your dreams? Sheep. Oh, my God. Melly, like, looks over to the side and, like, picks away at her plate of spaghetti. And you see, like, a shot of blush go to her cheeks and she's like, figure it out yourself. <laughs> it just takes a big bite. <laughs> yeah, the spaghetti is so good. Spaghetti. Jeez, don't let me eat a lesser handful out of the bowl. I don't. You gotta use utensils. You can't just scoop it out with your hands. We don't know where we we don't know where those hands have been. I do. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Sometimes you gotta. Use a, a fork or, a, or you know, these little uh, thingy things that... <laughs> Why? Because so, some people don't like the idea of you touching food that they're going to eat. It's gross. It's really nasty, yeah. What do I care about what other people think? You should care about what other you people should. think at least a little bit. <laughs> hmm. You'll, You'll be, should... happy. You'll you be should happier care. if you make other people happier. I mean... <laughs> I uh, got you uh, take that. Don't, don't, I, I'm gonna swat that out of the air before it reaches Basil's brain. Uh, like, <laughs> uh, you you should care what your friends think. There we go. That's a that's a better general situation. Uh, who are your friends, Basil? You guys, until proven otherwise. <laughs> that's more like it. I'll eat spaghetti to the sound of that. He <laughs> will steal some spaghetti for himself. Well, until proven otherwise, then. <laughs> Millie takes a big bite. <laughs> Basil gives Willow a handful. Oh, thank you. We she takes do this it. more often. <laughs> You're way better than chasing mice. <laughs> I'm, glad I, I'm glad I beat out the mice. I thought I saw you doing that the other night. <laughs> I, Not one you... of my favorite meals. I hate. Oh. Ah, <laughs> damn. Have a... Have a... Oh boy. Wait, shit! That wasn't a joke. No. I don't think Basil knows how to tell jokes yet. What's a joke? <laughs> God help us when that day comes. <laughs> <laughs> and with that. <laughs> I'm calling this session to a close. You all. Oh boy. Let me, let me. Clink's <laughs> glass of spaghetti. <laughs> you all spend the remainder of the evening <clears throat> wandering around the Undercity, actually enjoying a little bit of time off, a smaller job for a smaller day. It seems like, for the most part, your recovery after the last big job has fully set in. For a few of you, this was your first major official mission together. For the rest of you, well, this was a nice reprieve. You managed to avoid, for once, the rapid dive to hell. You hope, from here on, everything can take that shape a little bit more. But, with a rising feeling of dread, you know, tomorrow will bring something likely a little more severe. And with that, we'll call this to a close. Excellent work, everyone! Wonderful session! Ooh. Good job! Nice car chase! Holy shit! <laughs> they finally managed to de-escalate a Coda dive! They did it! <laughs> we finally did it. I didn't go to training, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, good work, team. Y'all are the best. No, you. Fucking, I forgot Y'all about, are the best. I forgot about the fucking eyeball shit until Jay was like, you saw yeah. someone do this before, and I was like, oh, yeah. fuck, yeah, shit. 
<laughs> God, that icon where your mouth steaming. Oh my oh, God. So good. <laughs> That's a sicko mode. What? Why does Ace have so much going on with him? What is wrong with you? How do we fix this? I realized I was just like, I was sitting at this table and I was like, yeah, it's this. And I was like, oh yeah, that's good. The scene's over. And I was like, no, yeah, there's there's more. Let me I'm just gonna put everything on the table right here, right now, just so we don't I have to like, it. <laughs> all the like, spaghetti on the table, Jesus. all at once. It's that scene where it's like someone's like, oh yeah, give me your gun. And it's like, give me all your guns. And it's just like, oh yeah, I'm just fucking. <laughs> it's literally Millie's scene where she took out five more reflections. Yeah. She took out five yeah. reflections. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Terrific nice. behavior. <laughs> no. no I mean, uh... oh God. We've got our work cut out for us and heal yeah. this one. Alright, let me uh, ba -ba -ba. uh screen share it to you guys. Cause we got fan art. <laughs> oh Ooh, fuck oh, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. Y'all are the fuck yeah. Y'all yeah. are the best. Yeah, this roll twenty. Uh, this uh, Imgur is made by roll twenty. Uh, Rest Lester twenty twenty. Oh god, my brain's fried. Uh, and, and first, Lester twenty twenty. Enter context here. Yeah. Uh, and then the best thing ever. Uh, mildly yes. muscular women think they're gods. Oh <laughs> my god, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. And then from uh, BHP with stocks and bonds. Stocks and bonds. <laughs> when the Dow is down, only oh, a friend, friend can, can bring you up. up. <laughs> 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 I, it's fucking wild. Unreal, yeah, actually. Sailor Slam Dunk. Look, Jibo. So good. I love it's, it's it. It's one of yours. It's one yeah. of my new friends. Yeah, I'm <laughs> stupid. Who <laughs> 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 tricked her into wearing that shirt? <laughs> what oh, a nice. monster. Mm -hmm. And then from Ace Hardware. 20, from Ace Hardware. And then from Colock. <laughs> oh, <God>, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is how we heal. Yeah, this is, this is just how it is. Man, oh, I. I'm a oh, sick as hell. Yeah, That's from Dungeon Master Zero. Wow, dope. Oh. <laughs> oh, sh oh shit, it's my IP address. <laughs> <laughs> and then from Lester 2020, Basil is here. Oh my god. <laughs> from Water Spell, Argus, Dr. Argus says, Don't narc. Don't narc. Don't, don't, don't do it. Like you. And then from uh, Tuxedo Octopus, Mr. Claw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An octopus himself. <laughs> Chad, as you know, Jay has allowed Mike a chance to die, but I made the perfect power point to convince Jay if he does. Uh, bring her back or else. Bring her back or else. <laughs> I'm killing you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the Argos. Oh, I got. Yeah. Ooh, lovely. Argos coin. Argos and then, coin. Then from Dungeon Master Zero. Please. Aww. He drove the car today. He did good. He did good. He, he did so good. And then from Leaf, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it twice. Yeah, and then from Ooh. Leafman. Let's go. Let's fucking go. And then from Doctor, uh, the from Onyx Spell, Doctor Argo says, <laughs> showing <laughs> signs of Ligma. Dude, <laughs> fucking god, what's electrolytes? <laughs> what's electrolytes? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, uh, zero, that's great. Luke, uh, Luke with zero's flow sea menace. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's excellent. <laughs> And then from Phil, silence. silence, silence. Really. <laughs> oh my god, I love the Argus. I love the Argus. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And then for me, dude. Oh, yeah, these okay. are lovely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a short comic, so yeah. All right, almost done here. Now I just gotta heal you, and I will be done. Oh. Finally, I'm out of a, a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the I swear to the gods, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're going, going to totally. like to <laughs> <laughs> I like that. For one, yeah, I'm just bu built different. She's built, built different. different. <laughs> <laughs> no. I love how everyone thought this. <laughs> no. Uh, from <laughs> I'm a healer. There is no but. <laughs> <laughs> Reflection in Spanish dub. Spanish dub. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The Fermati spell. 
I will consume James P. Nasium. <laughs> Never be HP with Dr. Argos. Yeah. Oh my god. That's great. And for Kala. <laughs> I love the sensors. It's, he's ripped. You gotta understand. He's someday soon. Someday. Yeah. I believe in Kim. Uh, fucking, uh, <laughs> team, uh, haunted by Rin Bright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those solicitors get off my lawn pretty much. Literally always open to demonic influence, but just repeatedly tells them to fuck off. <laughs> Chad behavior. What's your offer? Uh, Ace, you are missing an entire part of your being. That's cool. I don't sleep. That's worse. DJ <laughs> <laughs> Smile, but with bigger muscles. <laughs> yeah. Number one danger fanboy. <laughs> oh, and then from Rube, reflection comics hashtag we hi rehire right now. <laughs> oh my god! No, I've got this. Since I'm not legally a teacher or even employed, I'll be putting on an educational program. Cruel Nye the Science Guy. Cruel, 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 Sargos is over. Uh, Sargos is over, buddy. Yeah. No, immortal Blade oh, driving a jar. What bars shall it tend? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Now, like, reading is a dream. Reading is a dream. Oh, and then fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he is not killed. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what they, he oh. wants you to think. From name. Oh, from name. Oh, yeah, Cam's mermaid. And then from uh, Kakao <laughs> Trash Kid, yeah. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> it's just the big deal. It's, yeah. <laughs> and from Honor Spell. Biting you, biting you, biting you, biting you, biting you, biting you, biting you. <laughs> He's manifesting. <laughs> He's missing the third part, like a stool with two legs, like Neapolitan ice cream without the vanilla, like the Stooges without Curly, like Ace without the... Ak-Galantine. <laughs> Do you want to be Ak-Galantine? <laughs> Never dodge your ass zero. Oh, just oh nice little, little, nice little you people. surgery on me? <laughs> Hell is fat, though. <laughs> you think... I love Ar this so much. You think Argus could do surgery on a grape? Please yeah. do not hold me accountable in a court of law. Ace, how are you alive? Bad bedside manner, Riffle. Yeah. <laughs> From Honor Spell. Have you ever noticed a skeleton sounds like a skeleton? It was this was destined. <laughs> mm. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Vice yeah. President Argos and University President Riddle Arndive. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the zero, I don't sleep. <laughs> Ace trying to explain this. <laughs> like this is not okay. Yeah. Daily news cooties. Flow Wave 2 movie star Ice Skeleton was diagnosed with cooties according to fellow Flow Wave 2 members and streamer Argos, suffering from reflection and an addiction to vault, a vault watcher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doctors diagnosed with like, like what? Oh fuck yes, finally. God damn it, several of the stands. Yeah. Uh, and then oh, from, from Noah, yeah. I'm living, I'm living. Look at the happy bar. Okay, that's so good. And then from last year 2020, left the other man with the cup with noodles, the cup inside. noodles inside. inside. Oh god. <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> god. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. One more time. Yeah! Ah, from, from ah, personal ah. Jar. It's I just a normal it. jar. <laughs> and for token relief, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Ooh. Enid, is anybody here a doctor? <laughs> well, you're a nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm the healthiest of the group. <laughs> yeah, Ace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Holy the best shit. Best joke ever. And then from Yo! Mouth, that yeah. rules. And then from <laughs> Maril, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, sure. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was hilarious. And then from Oh, hey. that's so good. <laughs> That's yeah. so fucking good. So nice. That's so fucking nice. Now you can yeah. start <laughs> <laughs> From BH Behemoth. <laughs> wow, that arm is strong. How did they strengthen your legs? <laughs> Leg? Uh, Basil will help you. <laughs> <laughs> or is living his best life right now? <laughs> mm. And then from Honor Spell. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> see you, Ace Cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then from Meryl, you are valid. Yeah. No. It's 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 Ace Week. What? Yeah. Double finger guns. It's Ace Week. Happy Ace Week. Oh shit, Ace Week. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, and then oh, yes. Oh, oh, family. Family. Yeah. Kind of. Okay, down the door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> oh, I love the squad. God. And then, uh. <laughs> yeah, Herbie uh, fully loaded, dude. No. Too, too stupid to be together. Yeah. <laughs> zero. Oh, welcome to my room. Uh, welcome to my hospital room. Ignore the gun strained on me. Chase mice in the yeah. hallways? Sometimes I can eat them. I yeah. love the expression. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking bunny. Yeah. We're, we're cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, call time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Looking hydrated, Ace. Oh, yeah, <laughs> God. That was so straight, what you guys just did. Dude, <laughs> and Brendan, I think you've been in that exact same situation like 20 times. With the homies, yeah. Yeah. The homies. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Riddle, Riddle oh my god, I love this so oh. much. Yeah. Fuck yes. Uh, Inky, oh yeah, yeah, I, I saw this. It was basically, Inky was like, so the plot was incoming, there's been too much fun, and then it instantly just fucking happened yeah. with the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for Bonoic, yeah, more coloring to it, nice. Yeah, oh, fucking so good. From BH Behemoth, <laughs> Stan Bruce and Sonic Katana. Of course, first to drop their towel loses. <laughs> I, I, they definitely did Sonic Katana. <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing that from now on. I'm gonna start sweating with people. It's gonna be a new thing. <laughs> uh, spell it, head made of friendship. What yeah. the hell's your head made out of friendship? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wins with a headbutt. <laughs> yeah. And then from <laughs> friendship. <laughs> yeah. And from Beach Behemoth. Does my room have a table? <laughs> Why are you yeah. sitting on the table? Is this how you behave? Yeah, is this how you behave in your own room? Oh my god. No. Oh. And then Reflection Comic, hashtag guy sponsored mouse catcher. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody in the chat said, I didn't know Opia had a mice mouse problem. And she said, no. They <laughs> don't hate the mouse problem. Yeah, it doesn't anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. This oh, rules. Oh my god. So fucking good. Yeah, and then... If we leave my, uh, uh, the side say, I, say I, I might, might be, be trans. trans. <laughs> Love it. Storm Dragon, yeah. The blur oh, actually oh, adds a 3D effect. It's coming straight at me. <laughs> yeah. From Gee, Bill, how come you get two dads? <laughs> I have none dads. I have no dad. <laughs> In theory, maybe I have six dads in space. I don't know. Is there a car in her back? Yeah. Yes. yes. She can carry it. I mean, Pumped um, combat! Bad. <laughs> oh, oh yes. God. It can drift. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay. 
All the uh, live views. Hashtag mage <laughs> <God damn. laughs> I had to get a, a different reality where that didn't yeah. happen. Hashtag <laughs> build my hashtag strength build. <laughs> 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 But Agent J will face you first. Day since the last Coda incident, zero. <laughs> good coworker, coworker, they deserve a break. Mm -hmm. and then from Leafman, <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> oh, He's boiling. Bro. About to be Mage Boo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no world reach. Ah, oh, fuck. Holy Come shit. Far. Oh, this was oh. a company car. Fucking rip to the van. <laughs> Glad you rest zero. She's gonna be so mad. <laughs> God, look oh, at that basil. She doesn't I love like the look her face on things. <laughs> I love that melody <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Let's just stop it. They went 88 miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking from B. <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Only <Basilisk. laughs> there was yeah. a basilisk at the end of this episode. Brussels, let me. Holy uh, shit! Scroll some more. And scroll. Oh my god! There's so many fan art. You, you guys, guys are, are awesome. so kick ass. Yeah. You're so Thank you so ass. much for all. All this art and memes and and for playing so along in chat, always yeah. hilarious. Like, no, thank you for playing I'm along. Y'all are the best. Built I'm mage. scrolling so hard. There we go. Medical professionals. Yeah, the therapist. The therapist. Star. <laughs> yep, and then from Airless Star again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I was just supposed to borrow this. <laughs> All right, Melly, get ready. <laughs> 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 Ah, I want to fight. <laughs> and also, uh, call my family. Oh, oh. Dragon, <laughs> Dragon <laughs> Horde, weird little jar, weird little white stat. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Haha, <laughs> 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 uh, absolutely did not leak secrets. God, what a fuck. Melly, open up! <laughs> secretly a fucked up little guy. Yeah. <laughs> not secretly a fucked up little guy. Bro, we're so fucked up and, and also totally I <laughs> Claw. 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 Claw from Happy. Yes. yes. You get it. Yeah, and then the collection oh, of all drawings. Yeah. Oh my god, I love these. Fucking baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> Danger time. Oh god. I've seen this like, yeah, yeah, me. <laughs> oh god. Oh, sick with the yeah. colors. Oh, and love that. That's where it is. Holy shit. You yeah. guys are the fucking best. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I do want to know. The trio of uh, the three Slug Brothers was drawn by Neko265, who is yeah. also the person who drew Cole. Yeah, Very also the person who does all the little emotes you guys have been yeah, seeing in the chat. Yeah, does all the little emotes. It's you now know the entire Slug family. Uh Jesus Christ. I'm always astounded of like, wow, that was the long ass session. Checks the clock. We did we do so much in four hours. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It... Jesus God. Christ. Jesus Christ, chat. You guys oh did fucking God. you guys are amazing. Thank you all for watching. Fucking oh man. Ah. I, I'm just it's like that but like we're just like chilling. We're just like damn. Good yeah. job, everyone did great. High five, I slapped High you all five all ass. around. Bro, bro yeah. time, you were sweating it out. We're that sweating it out. Session. Platonically. Platonically, of course, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah. <laughs> Holy that's shit. that's it? Uh, yeah. That's it? So, uh, everyone say yeah. bye to chat. Chat! We're gonna, we're gonna be playing again next week. The same as this week. All of your Whoa. enthusiasm for this game uh, for this session, I I hope we continue to receive it because it's just so nice. Y'all are yeah. the best. Thanks for turning out uh, this time, and yeah, I hope to see you next week. Yeah, I everyone say bye. 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 bye.